Is that working? I don't even know if this is fucking working, dude. Am I live? I forgot a drink. That's like the that's a very important part of this. Hold on. Drink. Might take a little fucking sip of this. Mm-hmm. Battery's looking good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Is everything fucking working, dude? Just let, let me know if everything's working. I don't even know anymore. Is everything is everything working? Mail time. Every, he's energy. He's emerged. I think he said he's energized. I'm like that is not the fucking case. Yeah, sorry that took so long. Um, I was supposed to start at one, and then Abby busted in here and was like, "You gotta help me lift up a generator." So I had to go do that. And then I went and took a shit. I had stole it coming here and tell you that I was taking a shit. Um, and, then, uh, and then I couldn't figure out the whole, uh, whether or not the whole stream thing was working because I forgot, you know, on account I don't stream so much. So, but uh, I hope we're live here and I probably shouldn't have started uh, drinking 40 minutes ago. I started drinking with lunch to calm my nerves. And now it's hitting in a way that I don't think is going to be conducive to a good stream. I don't think this is not good. <laughs> not good. All right. Mm. It doesn't matter. Okay. God, my fucking palms are sweaty. All right, this is what's going to happen. Um, four years ago, five years ago, I used to do mail time streams. I used to open your packages on my, uh, on my old channel, or same channel, seems like an old channel, back when I was a different man, so to speak. And um, since then, I've grown, I've matured, and I'm hoping you guys have as well, because I stopped doing mail time because you guys kept sending me fucking socks that were covered in cum, radioactive dog shit, dangerous things. I was an idiot back then. I used to, some guy mailed me uh, pickles that he, you could tell he made it himself. It was in a big jar. I ate those things up. Uh, some guy mailed, the same guy mailed me beef jerky that smelled funny. I don't even know if it was beef. It was just jerkied meat. Could have been roadkill. I ate it. And looking back on that, um, that was insane. That was a stupid idea. I shouldn't have done that. And, uh, and so this time I, I have gloves. I got nitrile gloves I'll be putting on uh, so that I don't get uh, like whatever you guys are giving me. So I'm going to suit up with these things. Anthrax, I doubt, will be a problem. Because I'm willing to bet Nobody here is smart enough to synthesize that shit or like make it or whatever it takes to make it. Yeah. This can only go well. Yeah. I should have bought one of those cheapo hazmat suits. That would be funny, depending on how this one goes, because I've already paid for a year of the, of the stupid P.O. box. So you got a year of this shit. And so if this is absolutely vile, if this is something that isn't even uh, safe for me to do, you know, I already paid for it, so I'm going to get my money's worth, you know, so keep the packages coming. But next time, I might be in, like, a hazmat suit. All right. Who's the cameraman? I'm glad you asked. Follow me and meet camera number one. Oh, shit, it changed. Hold on. We have to wait here for eight seconds. <laughs> Because now it's currently on camera one. This is camera one. 
That's my cameraman. I'm like Dr. Robotnik. I've replaced everybody with machines. No need for cameramen. Now, I also, you might have noticed, I installed one on the ceiling. You can't fucking see it because it's face tracking on me right here. That was going to be like a, uh, what are those called? Uh, like a tabletop opening cam where you could see everything as I opened it. And then uh, I didn't feel like doing that, so I stopped doing that. Um, although I realized I could have because I ended up moving the fucking stream deck down here. See? Yeah. Oh, well. But... I guess it's time we get started. I have to do a, a pre-game pre real quick. And we're ready. All right, hold on, let me get, is that one still face tracking? All right, sweet. All right, first things first. This is a massive box. This one was picked up this morning. Whoever sent this in, you got it in like at the last second. Uh, to a Mr. General Sam, box 340, from a Mr. Eli. So Mr. Eli, whoever you are, thank you for the massive box. Yeah. Oh, I can tell gloves are gonna make this a problem already. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, a lot of this stuff was purchased from Amazon. This one, okay, this ain't good. All right, remember when, uh, at the beginning, when I said there was concerns about anthrax, maybe, and some biological attacks? I just want it to be said for the record. This box, dude. Seems a bit sketch. Doesn't that seem sketch? Oh my God, it's got like a fucking manifesto on the back. Let's give this a scoot out of the way. All right. Let's see here. Open that shit from at least six feet away with a pole. Thank you, Stalt. He's always here to... <laughs> Fuck's the knife. Depending on the, uh, the, the tone of this letter that comes with this box, really determines whether or not I open this. If there's some like kind of like sinister vibe to it, might not be opened. Dearest General Sam, I hope you enjoy my Scotty, shoddy, rushed craftsmanship. I heard your joke about what you might get in the mail and decided to rush build and ship it four days before vacation. I have, I have been watching your videos for years and missed my chance to send you anything years ago. Love your content and look forward to, for more to come. Hopefully, I'm in chat watching. What was this guy's name again? Eli or something? I want, I really, okay, Mr. Eli. Do you understand how much I want to dox you just in case this blows up in my face? I want to do first, last name, and address because it's on the box. In fact, if this does fucking kill me, I just wanted to be said that the box that has this guy's information on it is going to be in the room adjacent to me in the corner. Be right back. This one? Oh wait, I didn't get this one. Hold on, let me track this one too. Hey buddy. 
Here it goes. It's tracking. Tracking. This one tracking. Tracking. They get lost in the light, man. If you let them, if you let them stare into the sun, they're like dodo birds. They just get lost in there. All right. Okay, wait, hold on a second. The second part, there's a postscript. His name's Eli Builds Things. Eli Builds Things. He says, P.S. If you get hit, please don't come after me. Expect a build video after I get back from vacation. YouTube.com forward slash Eli Builds Things. Sorry the letter is shit. I forgot to write it. So at the post office, I'm writing with my daughter asking me what I'm doing. Okay, so Eli, this is not pre-recorded content loosely, bitch. Um, okay. If you get hit, uh-uh. <laughs> Look, hold on a second here. Hold the, hold the fort. Hold the fort. Did you see that shit? Look at this. This camera, look, 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 as you open it, there's some Viet Cong shit. Look. Uh. But, upon further inspection, it seems to be just, just to open it. Yeah, it's definitely a glove, because I made a joke about a, like someone making something where a boxing glove punches you in the face. I'm just going to rip it open, and I'm hoping that, I'm not going to cut the wires. Hold on. I'm going to look up. Is Eli builds, what is his name? Eli... Someone figure out, is this guy legit? YouTube.com forward slash Eli builds things. Is that guy real? Small channel, like sending C4 to other people type channel or like, I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at this fucking guy. Eli builds things. Eli builds things. Seven subscribers. And the only video he has is Spooky Scary Skeletons. Five trumpets version. Oh my. One last sip of DC before meeting the Almighty. Dude, like, okay, if this guy was reputable, if this guy was like a dude that has been known to make crazy builds, if Colin Furs sent me a box with some wires, I'd be like, okay, he's not trying to fucking blow my face off. But Eli Builds? You got no track record, bro. I'm going to have to get a stick or something. I think Stalt's right. Got, uh, this is a standard issue katana for opening packages. All right, let's wait for it to switch to the other one. You know what? I want to get a nice wide angle here. And you know what? I'm going to stop tracking. I'm going to pan this shit. Come on. Okay. I'll wait for the camera flip and I'm opening it. Eli, you bitch! Eli, 
Eli, your shit's not working. What should I do? <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking open this thing, man. What is this? It, it, I can see the fucking wires connected to shit. I can, I'm looking at it. Eli, what the fuck is going on here, dude? That thing ain't moving. You know what? This is, I got two kids, man. I'm putting this outside. This is, this one's sketchy. Eli, go fuck yourself. Fuck All right. <laughs> I, I gave it a pull and, okay, so underneath the boxing glove is like, uh, there was a box, a, a gray box, and underneath, uh, and there was a little, a fishing line emerging from the box, which then went through an eye bolt, and then the eye bolt split into two that were on the corners of the box. So as you opened it, it was supposed to go through a pulley that went into the thing that was under the boxing glove. Now, if it was just spring-loaded, I would say, fun stuff. But I don't know, like this guy, they, I've, I just got finished watching all these insane videos on Reddit of people um, blowing their hands up with fireworks. <clears throat> and they probably thought they were being safe, so. Yeah, it might be like an airbag, like a car airbag. And when I open it, it goes and like busts up. Like, I don't want that shit in my house. Explosives in my house. Are you kidding me? Oh, is it an airbag? It's probably an airbag. Yeah, that's, no, I'm good. I don't want to get my fucking sternum fractured in half when that thing like, <coughs> like a Mike Tyson punch. So anyways, Eli Build Things, uh, good luck with your illustrious YouTube career. You're going places. <laughs> Mailing things that could, might be roughly described as terroristic uh, devices to people's houses. Eli Builds Things is going to be a huge channel in the future. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this one's from uh, No Name. That's always, that's fucking heartwarming. Not even a first name on here. <laughs> yeah, they call him old IED Eli. What a great guy. Return label tracking and postage. A little beautiful letter. I've been watching your, this guy typed it up too. I've been watching your channel since the old Daisy and Skyrim days. You are the best personality on YouTube. Gotten me through a lot of hard times. Uh, Along with this letter is a limited release Skyrim vinyl, so you can remember the roots you grew from. What? Oh, like a, like a legit LP. Someone bought this. There, you know there's at least one person that fucking listens to this shit, like every week at least. Also, though I know it's super lame, there's another opened copy of the same vinyl. And I was wondering if you'd do me an honor of signing it and sending it back. Wow. I get to sign something and then I get to send my assistant, my wife, to the fucking post office? Don't mind if I do. Give her something to do. Earn that fucking paycheck. Uh, yes, I would, I would gladly do that. Uh, oh, oh, and then this is the return label. Okay. All right, I got you. I would ask you in person on Twitch, but I'm hopelessly... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this guy said he's poor and stuff. All right, thank you. By the way, I just wanted to be said that Eli... Oh, shit. Dude, how many packing peanuts did you have to put in here? These aren't, these aren't gold. 
Eli, the guy that sent the other thing, Abby mentioned that he spent like $70 on postage to send that IED to my house. And then only for it not to work. And considering it didn't work, okay, so let's say, let's say for example, you guys made a little box with a boxing glove on a spring. Wouldn't you fine tune it, try it so that when you go to open the box, it comes up reliably? I was really yanking on the lid of that box, right? So that would lead me to believe, I think it was like a one-time thing. I do think it was a pro probably a fucking car airbag. Because that's not something you can do twice. It's technically an explosive. He said it was a rush job. I did see that. Airbags are expensive. Yeah, that's like 200 bucks or something. Probably more than that for a fucking used airbag. I know that uh, people used to have a problem with, uh, they would break into your car and steal just your airbag. All right. Mr. No Name, uh, don't worry, I'll sign your... I'll sign your vinyl and I'll send it back. I'm gonna sign it with my full ass legal name. Not really, I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to develop a General Sam signature or something. I'll put that right there. Okay. Fold this up. Oh, this is going smoother than I thought. I was, uh, I was really panicking here on whether or not this was going to flounder, and already I got a failed, a failed assassination attempt. Uh, also, I got in a sick vinyl, and this one's my personal favorite. Okay, so I want you guys to keep in mind that uh, Abby hated her job. She quit her job. She started working for me. And, uh, and I was like, you know, I, I figured this would... I, I was tired of her walking in from the door and going like, I, I would be all hat because I had been playing games all day and vibing. And then she would be like, uh, I'd be like, hey, I had a great day. How was your day? And she would just be like, I want to fucking kill myself. Um, <laughs> this, so I, I got her to open up this P.O. box thing. She's the one that goes over there and grabs this stuff. She walks in the store, grabs it, walks out. And somebody sent... A, a tube that says vaginal odor helper on the side of it. And she had to fucking walk out of the, the post office place with this thing under her arm. <laughs> Which she wasn't too happy about. <laughs> but I said, hey man, you know, the fans know you. So it's important that... Uh, Smells fishy in here. You've been pranked. Oh, that's funny. It's, there's not even vaginal odor help. It's one thing to embarrassingly walk out of the P.O. box place with or like the post office with this thing. It's another thing if it doesn't even help your stinky pussy. So that's, that's a shame. That sucks. Pretty good, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, what's up? Lisa's in here. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Uh, this is a pat. This one's. This one's from Lithuania. Gives absolutely no indicator of who it's from. Just from the country of Lithuania. Wait a second. Is Lithuania even still a country? Didn't it get broken up? The fall of the Soviet Union or something? Is Lithuania still a thing? Yeah, this one looks sus. Sus. It's a bulging can of something. Oh, fuck, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, so I've seen some 
a little bit of a guy called uh, MRE, Steve, what's that guy's name? Steve MRE, 1983 or whatever. What's that guy's name? It's, uh, this is Sir, Sir Strum, I don't know. I'm going to have to get Muscle Bus to tell me exactly what this is, but I'm 90% sure it's when they take fish. You know, have you guys ever heard of Swedish people? most disgusting people on this planet. They will take fish and just shove it in the dirt, throw a little bit of lime on it, like they're, trying, like they're a serial killer trying to uh, decompose a body in their basement. They douse it with a little bit of lime, put some dirt over it, piss on it a little bit, leave it there for 17 months, and then they can it. It's fermented fish. Now here's the problem. Knowing that MRE Steve guy, when a can bulges like that, isn't that a huge indicator of botula? That thing is, it's drummed out. There's no way it's meant to be, and it's, it's like under pressure, dude. That's like a fucking Coke can. That one might, I'm going to look up what an actual Sir Strumming looks like, and uh, if that's how you say it. They, those cans always bulge? Okay. I might make a video where I, I give that a little test but not today, because that, that requires research. Oh, a tip. A tip, by God. The fish can withstand several days of room temperature. After being received until opened, it should be stored in a fridge to ensure its best quality. I'll be right back. I'm going to put it in my, uh, I got a little mini fridge over here. I'll put it in here and just tuck this away. Look how nice that is. Very nice. There we go. That one's caught. This one's caught. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, Mr. Unknown Man from Lithuania for the Sir Strumming. Maybe. Might possibly be something that kills me because I don't know how long it sat, you know, just like in a mail truck somewhere. Could have been a long fucking time. You pay your brother $1,000 to eat it? Let me tell you something. My brother, God bless his soul, is conveniently post-divorce uh, he's struggling, dude. That boy is struggling. $1,000. That might be a little bit beyond his pay grade. I bet you I could whittle that down to 200 bucks. 200 bucks, I bet you I could eat him. I could get him to eat that. Not eat him. No, I don't want to. 200 bucks? I'd eat his ass. <laughs> yeah, 200 bucks, I think I could, I could probably get him to eat it. Shit. Uh, I don't. Let's see here. To the people that just really tape the shit out of their packages, that's not, you don't need to do that. Uh, oh, this one's really close to me. From Mr. Angel from Marietta, Georgia. Isn't that close to me? He gets a, a like a laser print, laser jet ink thing of my old logo from like forever ago. A little picture of me on a Coke can. And what seems to be some sort of tribal art. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, what is it? A little, a little death claw head. Was this 3D printed? Good evening, Sir Sam. I come in the form of, in a, of a letter, package bearing gifts, and a humble request. I've included a hand-painted death claw that I made with a resin 3D printer. Second is a block sticker of your Diet Coke caricature. I'll show that to the camera. Lastly, I have included a postcard with postage and address. If you could sign it, put it in the mailbox, it would make me the happiest little girl in the whole wide world. Angel's a girl's name. I didn't realize. I thought it was just Mexican dudes that could have that name. Once we uh, go back to the other camera. Look at that. Little 
Death claw head. Eh? And little, oh, look at me under the, with Tim's. Timmed up. God damn, son. All right. Request, message request back. All the request return address stuff goes back here. And I'll sign all that. Did I just dox myself? I didn't dox myself, did I? Let's see. I don't think I doxed myself. We're good. <sighs> That's actually sick. I remember the little chode with, with Sam with the Tims on. Yeah, that's the post office, dude. The whole point of me having a P.O. box is that I don't, you guys don't see my address. See, we're, hold on. If you guys wanna, how do I like cover up tracking information so you guys don't see it? But if you guys wanna send stuff, fuck, I gotta wait for the other camera. By the time I go over to that one, it's gonna be back here anyways. It's gonna, look, you wanna send stuff. Oh, it's trying to find my face. You can't find it. Right there, look. God damn it. 1400 Village Square Boulevard, Suite 3, Box 340, Tallahassee, Florida, 32312-1231. Fuck, that's in the already open or unopened packages. Um, that's the, that's the P.O. box. It's not a P.O. box. It's a fucking, it's a UPS store and it's a, a, a like a fake address. That's what it is. So if you go to the post office and they say like, hey, dude, that's not an address, then, uh, or that's not a P.O. box, it's not. Tell them it's not a fucking P.O. box. It's just a regular box. Yeah. Thank you, fams, for being able to write that down. This one, I think a lot of these are from just like this one's from, why am I even trying to find out? Yeah, the, some of these are just from Amazon. This one's from Amazon. When I said, guys, like, send me, what the hell? When I said, like, send me stuff for the, the post office box, I really had in mind more like, uh, oh, shit, a book of dad jokes. Never mind. I was gonna complain and say like, you know, like I would much rather just a nicely worded letter from you guys than like purchasing something from Amazon. But I didn't realize a book of dad jokes was on the table. You guys wanna hear some of these? Hey guys, guys, guys. Uh, I just finished my first day of excavation training. I'm really digging it. Huh? Hold on. I confronted a mime today. He did unspeakable things. These fucking suck. <laughs> These are dad jokes. Oh, dude, hey, wait, wait. You guys hear about the farmer that plowed his field with a steamroller? Uh, he wanted mashed potatoes. Whoever's editing this, put in a fucking laugh track or I'm going to kill you. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't a death threat. That, that's just how I treat my subordinates, my employees. Hold on. There's some, some of these are like stretches. These are like, some of these are just like really a big stretch here. Like this one, listen, listen to this one. What did the dad volcano say to his son? I lava you. That's, that's a stretch. That makes, I'm not sure if you guys watched the, the podcast, but Abby made up a joke and thought it was the funniest shit in the world. And her joke was like, hey, what do you do when your hair is unruly? You put it in hair jail. <laughs> that's less of a stretch than I lava you, for sure. Hey, what's sticky and brown? A stick. That one actually slaps. That one's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the, the, 
That one's good. <laughs> hey, what kind of hair do oceans have? Wavy. <laughs> All right, these are hitting. Hold on a second. Where's that? Where's the whiskey at? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not, it's too early for that. <laughs> Money talks and terrible jokes. Oh, there's like money-related jokes? These, just in case you're talking money, if you're in the finance game, this chapter's for you. Hey, I wasn't surprised when the price of balloons went up. There's always inflation in this business. Oh, all right, this is the last one. I swear, this is the last one. Why couldn't the art dealer pay his rent? He ran out of Monet. <laughs> oh, shit. That one's... All right. We're keeping this one on the table. When things get dry, you guys just uh, let me know when you want to hear more of that. That fucking... That little, that little gym's going to keep the channel afloat for a couple years for sure. World's hottest. Mad Dog 357. Oh, it's hot sauce. Fuck. Mad Dog 357. This sauce will blow you away. 357,000 Scovilles of hot hotness. I don't like that this thing gives you a fucking, uh, what were those, like the permission slips that you have to sign before you do something stupid? Because there's like a giant, like, uh, user license agreement. I agree, as indicated by my opening of this bottle. By opening it, you lay down your signature that as follows and connected with my purchase of this product, one, this purchase, this product is extremely hot and I should use it with extreme care. The product is to be used at my own risk, and I fully understand the potential danger if handled improperly. If I give this product as a gift, I will make the recipient fully aware of the potential danger danger used or handled if used or handled improperly. I hereby disclaim, release, or relinquish any and all claims, actions, and lawsuits that I or any of my dependents, heirs, family members, or legal representatives may have against any party relating to any damage or injury that results or is alleged to have resulted from the use, consumption, ingestion, contact, or other use of or from this product. I am not inebriated and otherwise not uh, and otherwise not of a sound mind, and I am fully able to make sound decisions about the purchase of this product. I don't want to fucking eat this. If, if that's on the front, I really don't want to eat it. Illiterate moment. Yeah, I don't read out loud a lot. I take that back, dude. All right, you saying I'm fucking illiterate, dude? You say I'm illiterate. I will go upstairs right now and get the Butter Battle book by Dr. Seuss, and I can... My tongue can weave those words, I'm telling you, without a fucking hiccup. But it's against TOS to read somebody else's book, I think, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to eat it with the, with the Sir Strumming or whatever. Use a toothpick? That might be an option. I'm going to open it, and I'm just going to do a, because uh, let me tell you something. I'm about the whitest person you know, all right? I don't like spicy food. On top of that, my dad's Jewish. Jewish people are afraid of spices. They run like the Dickens. Have you ever had matzo, matzo ball soup and shit, latkes? Those people don't know what the fuck salt and pepper is. All right, and people make fun of white people for salt and pepper, okay? Jewish people don't even use salt and pepper. They just, they eat that shit out of the earth, right out the fucking ground, like God intended from the Old Testament. That doesn't seem too bad.
Yeah. It doesn't seem, it doesn't, is the lid not going <sighs> to? Famous last words. Should I shake it? Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to jostle it up a little bit. I'll give it a taste. Oh, yeah, that really, that aerated it. Hold on. Going in for a third one. All right, I'm going to put this on the just a tip, the search strumming thing. I just want to, I just, I just got to see what this stuff is capable of here. That's a dollop. And they say it on the bottle, a dab will do ya. Should I do a zoom in on this shit? That make you guys happier? So this one, that one, this one. Okay, I got a little bit, see a little bit on the card? A little bit on my finger? <coughs> it's not even pleasant. And I do not, by the way, I forgot to mention that my, uh, my gastrointestinal system, it ain't the happiest on the planet, dude. There's, I could, ugh, I could eat something and it would really fuck me up. I'm sweating already? What the fuck? <clears throat> dude, my fucking chest is getting hot. Yeah, I'm good with that, dude. That that can go right in the fucking garbage. Holy shit. <coughs> I'm good. You know what? Since I'm eating spicy stuff, I do have this uh, uh, pack, pack we... I handled that all right. It just kind of made me like a little bit hot for a second. I got this pack... pack hey... Fucker, camera, look at me. I got this Pat Paqui hot, world's hottest fucking chip. <coughs> Damn. And uh, I saw, what's his name? Omid ate this fucking thing. Was it Omid? He seemed to be having problems. Inside is a singular chip. And I was supposed to eat it during the Tarkov stream, and I didn't. <coughs> God damn, dude. <coughs> that shit's fucking me up. Eat the... Any last words? Rules for the challenge. Eat the entire chip. Wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. Post your reaction to social media. Oh, it's broken. Gotta wait for the, hold on. There we go. I'm not gonna, doesn't really smell like much. When I'm sad, I like to make a pork roast. <clears throat> that way I have a shoulder to cry on. <clears throat> I used to be a member of the secret cooking society, but they kicked me out for spilling the beans. Uh, 
let's go back to the, my hands are shaking. <laughs> Um, what pastry wanted to rule the world? Attila the bun. Hey, three jokes in and I got a drink. That didn't fucking help at all. We might have to get some milk. I will be right back after these messages. <coughs> oh, it's milky time. Oh, yeah, it's milky time. Amin's a pussy. Easy. Let me tell you something. I'm going to come clean with you guys. Uh, I saw Omid get, uh, Omid got the chip and he ate the chip. And then he was like, hey, I'm like, so he was like sweating and stuff. He didn't handle it well. And I was like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if I got the chip and then I, and then I, uh, and then I took an X-Acto knife and I cut it. And I pulled the chip out and I, and I got a corn chip, a regular corn chip, and, and coated it with stuff that isn't spicy and poked it in there. And then I would have a fake chip. That way I could eat it and make uh, Omid look like a fucking pussy, right? Well, I did all that, and then uh, the chip, the chip still had some dust on it from the inside of the packaging. I'm such a pussy that just my fake chip that was completely no spice, no spice at all, got residue of spice on it from the fucking envelope. And I, my hands were shaking in the other room. Yeah, white people moment. <laughs> yeah. 
whitepeople.mp4 will be, be this highlight. Jesus fucking Christ, how do you eat that thing? Fuck. Ugh. God. Yeah, thanks for that, dude. Wait, it wasn't even, nobody sent that in. I did that on my own. Still, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> Oh, man. And the other part of this is a little plague doctor. Uh, plushie. Thank you for that. Uh, I'll give this to my daughter, I guess. She likes stuffed animals. I'll go over there for now. That'll be a nice lumbar pillow for if I ever sit in that chair. Look at this stuff. Jesus Christ, I think we all need to cool down with a dad joke after that. Oh, uh, Fuck, these suck. Why is there so many fish-related jokes? Oh, this one's bookmarked. Oh, man. <clears throat> hey, what did one plate say to the other plate? Uh, lunch is on me. Insert the laugh track. Nice. <clears throat> Shit, dude. All right, let me get some more of these. I'm gonna to try to get some that are like, uh, let's get a mix here. This one feels like a shirt or something, something to blow my nose on. Oh, by the way, I, I wanna preface this. I forgot about this at the beginning. If I'm like in the middle of, you know, I'm doing a stream, I'm talking to like the, you guys. Um, I just wanna preface this that everything in this pile I, I want to show an immense amount of gratitude to you guys for sending stuff in. It means the world to me. In fact, I still have every bit of fan mail that you guys have ever written me, ever. I hold on to this stuff because it does mean the world to me. So if I'm in the middle of the stream and I don't seem to kind of like show the amount of appreciation that you were hoping, um, then it's... Uh, it's because of this whole thing. I'm like in the middle of doing this. I'm sorry, you know. But I do appreciate you guys sending stuff in. Um, and it, it, for some guy that said it was all unopened, no, that's opened with the, the, there's no envelopes in there. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I need some more milk. Uh. Oh. A big fucking pink shirt. What does it say? Dude, that shit put me in a bad mood. Holy fuck. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's a pink guy outfit. And I think it's probably way too small. Look at that. If I ever want to do a Filthy Frank cosplay, an entire pink guy outfit. Oh, it's got the little face hole and everything. Very nice, thank you. Oh, shit. <sighs> Dude, I feel like my, uh... You guys ever feel, you ever get that feeling that you're like, hey, 20 minutes from now, I might throw up. Not right now, not this instant. 20 minutes from now. I got that going on. putting it on that's <laughs> that'd be like getting a bunch of fucking like PewDiePie merch and just wearing it on my own stream I'm not fucking, I'm not putting on the filthy Frank fucking onesie I have too much self-respect for that all right that guy quit the game he quit the game when he was at the top of it and he went to go make shit music no I'm not wearing his fucking pink guy outfit what is this Am I allowed to show this? What is this? Tim Templeton Tonics? What is Templeton? This guy give me like, what is this, like Vietnam face paint? <laughs> what the hell is this shit? Templeton Tonics, can someone look this stuff up? Shea butter, 
high, high, hydrogenated olive oil. Is this edible? It's hair and skin balm. Oh, I, yeah, I'm sorry. Is this gout cream? It's forehead cream. It's balding stuff. There's no way it's balding stuff. What the fuck is this? Is it for balding people? Hell yeah. Fellas, we might have found a cure. All it took was Templeton Tonics. That does sound like a, a, like a snake oil salesman. Just rub this tincture on your scalp, this, this salve. Rub this salve on your scalp three times a day, and you will start seeing your hair come back the moment I leave town. <laughs> what the hell is this shit? There's a lot of it, too. Templeton Tonics. I have a feeling the person that sent this it just owns Templeton Tonics. What is this stuff? The fucking Abby ripped off the label because it had her name on it, I think. It doesn't, it doesn't even say what the hell this shit is. Well, thank you for the unknown liquid. Wait, oh wait, I can, I can dig my finger in there. Hold on. Oasis Templeton Tonics, four ounce. Firm hold water-based clay. Can, Candarello, what the fuck? Dude, okay, if you, hold on, I'm gonna give a slight critique here. If you work for Templeton Tonics, if Templeton Tonics was the person that sent this, I just wanna say, maybe you should give like some base fucking indicator of what your product is. This could be for anything. What is this? It's not, okay, this, this one might be for styling hair, but I know for a fact that, oh wait, this one says pomade on it. Okay, so that is for styling hair. This one says skin balm. I, I found the label, it's like the smallest label in history. This one's unlabeled, matte paste. I don't know what that is. What the fuck it? Oh, wax cream. Like, what is that? What is wax cream? And this one just says clay. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm a Dapper Dan man. Exactly. Like, this is, I don't know what any of this shit is. Is it for hair? Hair paste? Is that a hint? Is that a hint? Do I not style my shit? I got... I'm not fucking styling my stuff. That takes too much time. I get up in the morning and I've, uh, I get up and I just uh, wash my body and then I walk out into the world. I should go bald. I think bald might be the look. Well, thank you if you sent me the hair tonic. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get a haircut. And uh, next video, I'm gonna pomade myself. I'm gonna be so fucking pomaded up. You guys are going to say, damn, dude, Sam's never looked so good. But first, I'm going to have to look up how to do pomade. I don't know. I, the, only, the only reference I have is, oh, brother, where art thou? I think that's enough pomade for a lifetime. This one's got a QR code that I don't want you guys scanning, so I'm going to hide it. I don't know if it's, hold on, let me scan it with my phone. Oh, it's a guy's YouTube channel. His name is Flof Flof. He's got 68 subscribers. I'm sorry, Flof Hoff, F-L-O-F space H-O-F. Another YouTuber sent me this, a colleague, so to speak. And look what we have here. Oh, I thought he left a pube in there. It's, it's like, it's one of those fake hairs from a weave. I think the lady at the UPS, it got caught in the tape when she was taping the shit up. <clears throat> Unless Fluff Off is a, is a black lady. Uh.
This is, okay, this brings me back, dude. This is like a box from old mail time. People just mailing, they just open up a junk drawer and put it in a box. Hey, which one of those is pointed that way? Come back here. Get back over here. God damn it. Hey. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh my God, it's all zoomed out. There we go. Nice. Like, look at this. Dude, it is just a box of shit. Just shit. Just random shit that he wanted to get rid of. A Coca-Cola pack of cards. Uh, a DVD season of Psych. That old sitcom. Uh, some sort of Russian, like, Soviet pin. A human skull. A sock puppet. Sock puppet do kind of go hard, though. Okay, I take it back. If you, like, line the inside of this thing with razor blades, I'm going to flip. <laughs> hey, Sam, try out the sock puppet. There's just fucking, like, all sorts of, like, exacto, exacto knife blades in the, in the thing of it. Oh, I'm putting it on backwards. I'm a fucking idiot. Am I? Yeah, I am. Fuck. <laughs> that does seem kind of grim when you think about if you name all the items. Like a psych DVD. It's like a message from the guy. A psych... Psych, Sam, you should watch this show. A human skull. A psychopathic sock puppet that I've given you for some reason. Where's that fucking remote? Let's get a zoom on this shit. Hey, maybe this awesome puppet can tell us a fucking wicked joke from the book. I can't, your foot's so small, I can't even make it a legit sock puppet. There we go. I guess that kind of works. Yeah, it's, it, it smells like tobacco, strangely enough. Hold on, let's see if we can do like a, a, a Sesame Street thing. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, this one's play related, right? Sock puppets are like play related. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to boop like that. Go up a little bit. See if we can get it like over my head. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey, guys. What's a pig's favorite Shakespeare play? Hamlet. Oh, I can't do the fucking, I can't do the thing at the same time. It's not one of my skills. If you're going to make a sock puppet, don't send it to me in like a child's sock. I got a man hand. I need a man hand size sock puppet. Dude, this sock got jokes. <laughs> Yeah, this sock's fucking insanely funny. Someone get this thing a career. All right. Ugh. Whoa, I'm keeping this sock puppet. I'm really happy you sent this to me. Fuck me, dumbass. <laughs> it's in the trash, but I really appreciate the, the season of Psych. My wife loves this show. What else do we got? <laughs> we got, uh... M Medea's family reunion. We got some DVDs here. Uh, did this guy just fucking break into a blockbuster? No, there's no cases. Ride along. I remember that being a con. We bought a zoo. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is before they had the tone shift there. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This one's got Moaning Myrtle, man. What a hottie. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. That's when they really started getting dark there. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Robert Pattinson dies. That's really a low point for the whole series. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I don't care for that one. Sirius Black dies. Ford Unto Dawn. I've never even heard of that. And Jurassic World. Haven't seen it. 
But here's another problem. I know exactly why this guy sent all this stuff. Nobody has a DVD player anymore. It's 2022. I have no way of playing these in my house. I guess I, I can throw them at the kids or something when they get home. There was a letter in here. I should probably read it. It looks, this one looks like a manifesto. Enclosed are items that will be vital to your survival in the upcoming nuclear winter following the events of November 15th, 2022. The items are as listed. The skull of Jerry, who generously sacrificed his life for our survival. He bore the most meat. Thank you, Jerry. A 3D printed duck. Barter trade for 12, ed 12 eggs. I don't see no 3D printed duck. Oh, I see him. He's tiny. You can't barter for shit with this little guy. 12 eggs for this? This little thing? I couldn't get one egg. Say his name. His name was Jerry. All right. Uh, fuck. Where'd my remote go? Why am I touching this without a glove on one hand? Um... Oh, fuck, I fucked up. The sock puppet is for sexual companionship. Some McDonald's Szechuan sauce. This will be eaten with the uh, Sir Strumming in the future. Thank you. Um, as seen in the hit cartoon Rick and Morty, to boost IQ. Season 5 of Psych on DVD. Sean Spencer will guide you in the new world. One condom. The radiation makes everyone infertile, so get creative with your use of this. Absolutely, thank you. Uh, a token of communism to appease the red ones. Ten DVDs of American classics. Coca-Cola branded trading cards. You must beat a boat captain in, the, in a game of blackjack for passage to Norway. A shirt to mark you as one of them. The fish clan will ensure your survival. Use these tools wisely, you greasy gamer. Your only remaining video after the great cleansing is that one of the guy who put your green screen over his anal video on Pornhub. Yeah, I forgot about that. I did a, uh, I did a collab with a porn star on Pornhub. Uh, go look for that, I guess, if you feel like it. Um, and what is this shirt? Let's see. fuck is this? <laughs> it's a guy feeding another guy on a tray in the hallway and says, feed him. It's just weird enough that I will wear it. I don't know what the QR code goes to. I'll figure that out later. That's staying with me. That's not going in the garbage. Well, thank you for all. The oh, man. Psych. Are you kidding me? I love psych. It's my favorite show. Szechuan sauce. I love this stuff. I'll put this over here along with Jerry and uh, this little duck. And I need, a, I need a new glove. I need to glove up again. Good old Jerry. All right. Put this on here. Dude, I'm telling you, every fucking time. Every, wait, hold on. Oh, this one's not tracking? Why aren't you tracking? Track. There we go. Every, and it's tracking on the mannequin now. You. All right. Every time I start streaming or something, Abby has never in her life a, like gone out on this porch. Last time I was streaming and this time that I'm streaming, all of a sudden I hear little fucking little footsteps out there. Little fight. She's out there doing something. What gives? Stop focusing on the... Turn her head around. Over here, dude. What are you focused on? Her head's backwards. My child. I had to take my child off the wall. There's no way that you're still focused on that. Do it again. Do it again. Fuck. Over here, man. Hey! Is 
There we go. Shit. Man, that got me hot and heated. Technology, man. Sam versus technology. I'm going to win every time. That's just the fact of the matter. This one is uh, pizza. Pizza flavored cotton candy. And pickle flavored cotton candy. I'll go for pickle first. I'm just, I, I guess if someone sends it, you got to try it. And it's really sealed up nicely. Just in case there was some tomfoolery. Now, I think this one came directly from Amazon. That tastes like a fucking pickle, dude. Into the garbage. I appreciate you sending stuff in. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, somebody said it was weed, and I went and looked, and... Nope, sadly, I'm just eating this because it tastes like pickles. I was hoping there might be like a silver lining here, like you have to eat pickle-flavored cotton candy, but then it is weed. This just looks like uh, uh, insulation in my attic. Thanks for sending stuff in. That was, that was gross. That almost made the whole puking sensation really come to a boil. Uh, which was better? They're both dog shit. If I had, if I was forced to eat one, probably the pickle, I would assume. Pickle, for sure. The pizza one was absolutely disgusting. Now, I, I brought myself a little treat because I knew there would just be nothing but dog shit, so I got chocolate-covered espresso beans for whenever I'm kind of feeling spicy. All right. Let's get a little pile going. Let's, let's speed this up a little bit. I feel like we're taking forever. I feel like the attention span is getting lost. When are you doing the hot tub stream? I'm not doing a hot tub stream. It is currently... It is currently 94 degrees outside. I would do an ice bath stream, but I am not doing a fucking hot tub stream. I'll die out there. I have heat stroke. Save it for Zach? Yeah, I need to save it for my brother for sure. What is this one? Articulated finger extensions. Oh, this is tight. Comes with little gloves. Wait, what? What are these? Whoa! I think... What is this, for like raves and shit? I think What's-His-Face did this stuff. Uh, Bizzle has some of these, I think. Bizzle's, like, apparently really into raving. I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, we need another dad joke? I'm sorry. Are we running low here? Let's get one from the back of the book. That's where the edgy ones are. Did you hear that joke about robots? It really grinds my gears. The satellites got married on Saturday. The reception was fantastic. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> this one's so fucking stupid. This one's, this one's more of a question. If goods are damaged in transport, do they become bads? <laughs> I 
I love the slow turn to the other camera. <laughs> All right, maybe the front of book, front of the books where the good ones are. Maybe they front load it with like the real heavy hitters. Yeah. Oh wait, this one's like okay. So let's say your your dad's hitting you with these, right? This is your Uno reverse card on them. Uh, if you're, oh shit, never mind. This one's asking dad. Dad, are you gonna take a bath? No, I'm leaving it where it is. I need to fucking, I need to study up on these, dude. I, I got a couple more years where my, my kids are going to, these are going to hit with them. They're going to understand them. <laughs> Wait, what? They're so bad, they're good? Yeah, they're not. They're kind of in between. Oh, this one. Uh, <laughs> hey, it was easy for me to master Braille once I got a feel for it. No? Okay, wait, one, <laughs> one more before we put this back down. I'm terrified of elevators. I'm gonna start taking steps to avoid them. Wow! Laugh track! Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Someone carry this guy off stage? What, what's wrong with these, dude? These are heavy hitters. Uh, these are, oh, this is the good stuff. Hey, my recliner and me, we go way back. Insert your own laugh track. I expect all of you. How many people are watching this? 4,000 or something? <laughs> Someone cut his mic. <laughs> Someone take it away from him. You can't stop me. I got another backup laugh mic over there. Hey, hey, man, what did one eye say to the other eye? Between you and me, something smells. I'll be here all day, guys. All day, all right? These are good. I'm, <laughs> I'm, keeping, I'm keeping this one. That one's not even proper grammar. It doesn't matter, dude. Not everything has to be proper. By the way, these are uh, finger extenders, so I can do, like, creepy hand stuff but they require some level of actually like making them. Like it's like a kit. So uh, thank you for this. I'm actually gonna put them together because my daughter would get fucking freaked out by this stuff. You know what my daughter gets scared of? Stuff like this, I, I can get her every time. I'll just be like, hey, hold on, honey, I'm gonna get you something. Ah! And, <laughs> and every time she's just like, oh! <laughs> like it fucking gets her. So easy. Oh, shit. All right. <sighs> Anything to give the kids a good nightmare. Yeah, it's, that's what it's all about. This is from Spring. And it's like a hoodie. And it says Thought Cops on it. If this is your channel or whatever, I, I'm guessing someone sent it in that that's like their channel or whatever. Thought Cops, thanks for the hoodie. It smells like vinegar. The key to good drop shipping. The stank of vinegar. What the fuck do you think you're doing, camera? You're always wandering off. Jesus. No, that would be better if it was Thought Cops, like T-H-O-T. Thought Cops, T-H-O-T, and it's two Mormon guys with their fucking, <laughs> with their fucking like white short sleeve button up dress shirt with a tie so they look like a McDonald's manager. And they're the Thought Cops. Hell yeah. Stick to the dad jokes. <laughs> Do they arrest thoughts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on patrol, dude. They're going to make sure there's no whores around. Uh, oh, that one's bad. This one's just not even good. Um, wait, okay, I'm going to listen to it. Uh, hold on. What do you get if you cross an Egyptian mummy with a car mechanic? Tut and car man.
What did the magician say when he made his rabbit disappear? Hair today, gone tomorrow. Oh, these are fucking bad. Oh, and we've already been to the unspeakable things category here, huh? Oh, why are fish so smart? They're always in schools. It's not that one's that one's not hitting. Hold on. We'll carry on when I make you guys laugh. It'll it'll take some time. Hey, I just learned sign language. It's pretty handy. Now, okay, hold on. What do what do billboards communicate? How, wait, I'm sorry. How do boy? I fucked that one up. We're going on to the next one. Uh, that one sucks. Uh, hey, did you hear about the English professor who went to jail? She got a full sentence. You guys are laughing yet, right? Between, oh, man. Oh, wait, here's, here's one for you guys. What's the longest word in the English language? Smiles, because there's a mile between the first and last letters. That one's for you, uh, for you fucking English majors out there. All right, on to the next one. A dosage spoon. Is this guy sending me, like, kid-related stuff? What is this? Oh. Take a, oh, isn't this nice? This guy sent me uh, some political shit. I got a, a Trump flag. And And a pride flag. Guys, look. Everybody, I think it's high time that everybody knew. I'm proud to be retarded. I got both of them on the flying outside my house. Side by side. See how long it takes for a Molotov cocktail to come soaring through my bay window. Also a dosage spoon if I'm giving my kids like kerosene and sugar to make them go to sleep at night. I don't know why I would ever use this one. Water would allow medicine? That's a lot of fucking medicine to be putting in like a, a spoon handle. I don't know. It's a little bit wacky. Well, thanks for the, uh, the Trump flag. I, I can give it to my in-laws. They'll love that shit. <laughs> They'll love it. Hey, what the fuck is, like why? Is this one just actual mail? No, it's not, because it's to Spoon Spoon Sammy. He just sent me like a regular spoon. I thought this might have been, because we're, di we're doing renovations upstairs, and so we're like using, we don't have like an actual kitchen, we're just using a bathroom and like a table, this like this table with a cutting board on it. So I thought that like maybe these might be actual utensils that we're going to use. But no, one of you just sent me, I guess I can use them. I'll put them over there. Did you eat the Venus burger? No, I did not. Oh, hold on, let me, let, me get, let me get some more here. We've whittled down the, uh, we've whittled it down pretty good so far. I, I feel two books in here. Hold on a second. I think I'm going to stop the stream. Not the stream, I'm sorry. Stop the recording and start it again. What do we have here? Stop. Cease. Resume. Excellent. Right? Is that working? Is that working? 
And then you turn me back around. Boop, boop. Yeah, I'm going to grab some more of these while I can. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is there like political nuts? And then everybody's like, the political people. There's political people in the in the in the fucking thing. Did I did I rile people up by not by not fucking immediately rolling the Trump flag up and shooting it up my asshole with this Durex condom wrapped around it? Yeah. Hey, Shiro, good luck, dude. This is what you're going to be editing. It's not a fun time. Hold on, Shiro, I got a, I got a nice joke for you since you're, since you're here. Uh, hold on, I got a, a thing of dad jokes here. Uh, hey, Shiro, what's a monster's favorite drink? Demonade. This is when you put the laugh track in. But like on some of these, I kind of want to, have you ever seen comedians that like, you could tell they put a lot of energy into a joke. And so the crowd like would feel like a dick if they didn't laugh. And so instead of laughing, they clap. You ever see that? Like go watch a Dane Cook special and you'll notice that there's not many people laughing, but there's a lot of clapping. I'm hoping that all the, all the applause or all the audience response I get right here is nothing but clapping. I just want some of that. Hold on, we'll get one more so the claps can really flow. Uh, oh, uh, where, where did the piglets study their ABCs? Uh, at a school for higher loining. That's all, folks. That's all, lo like, lo like a tenderloin. Maybe it's in the delivery. Maybe that joke would have killed if we had the right guy here. There was a guy that just said in chat, he was like, <laughs> there was a guy that just said, how did you like the airbag? And I hope that was Eli, the, the fabricator or whatever. Because if that is you, Eli, you fucked up. You didn't get me. Why don't you take Minixtradil? What, what? Minoxidil and Finistride? Because, dude, like, I'm fucking... How do I say, how do I say this without seeming like a... Like, I don't care that much about it. Like, I bought this shirt fucking like four years ago. Like, I, I have like 10 shirts. I got like three pairs of pants. Like, I don't fucking care about this enough to take a pill every day so I can get like a little bit of hair back. You know? Like, the people that sit there and freak out about the fact that they're going bald, you think about it like this, like, does it even fucking matter if you already look like dog shit? Like, I could get super trim. I could get super fucking shred shredded. I could get, like, you know, whatever going on. LASIK eye surgery so I don't have fucking glasses on and I look like my eyes are too small for my head anyways. If I do all that shit, it doesn't matter if I have, like, hair or not. Still going to look like just, like, a medium guy. It just doesn't matter enough. I'm not gonna sit there and remember to take pills every day if it's not gonna make me look like George Clooney or some shit. Hey, by the way, women out there, the women out there that are like, I feel like every fucking woman is getting like tit jobs. Like, does it, is it worth the 20,000 for you to go from a five to a five with fucking tits with scars all over them? Just stick with what they gave you, all right? It sucks but we're fine with it. This is a blanket someone sent me. I should have checked to see what was on this <laughs> before I opened it. Who the fuck is that? 
Who is this? Who is that? Does anybody know who that is? Anybody got a name on that? Is this mini lad? Who is this? It's the Zodiac Killer? Ed Kemper? I don't know who that is. It's Dyrus? It's not Dyrus. It's not Gorbachev. It, it's Dyrus? That doesn't look like... <laughs> it's not Ed Kemper. I don't know who the fuck that was. Hmm. Oh, shit. We're facing the wrong way. Which one is that? That's this one. So apparently when you hold up a giant blanket, it can throw off the tracking a little bit. Boom. Epic. It says jump scare warning. And it has, uh, oh, this guy just took some pictures and printed them out for you. You guys, guys want to see them? The guy looks like iRisk. You guys know iRisk PvP? The Rust YouTuber? Looks like a doppelganger for him. He went to Walmart Photo. Got some photos developed. Never mind. He doesn't look like iRisk at all. It's just a fucking... He's just a dude. Just got a plain old... <laughs> Let's go through these together. Hey there. Let's look. Fuck. Hold on. We're going to have to turn off tracking on this one. Stop tracking. Okay. Spider. Ah, 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 ah. That's the jump scare that he was talking about. You don't want to have that. Uh, these are mysteriously stuck together, bro. What's going on here? Uh, another beautiful picture of the guy. Look at that. What a, what a cutie pie. But look at this one. This one's great because he, he has about as much chin as my wife has. Oh, yeah. Where's, <laughs> where's your little chin at, bro? You're looking like Earthworm Jim. <laughs> where's that little chin at? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on, where'd that remote go? Ugh. Nice. Look at this, dude. This is a smooth operation now. You know what sucks is by the time I handle this and I get it all the way I want it and I've learned how to fucking work it, I'm going to deassemble it so I can play VR or something, and then I'll have to hook it all back up and it'll take like a day and a half, and then I'll, fuck, I'll forget how to work it. That's how it is every time. You can ask Stolt. He'll ask me to play something in VR, and I'm like, sure. And we, we, we plan to start at 9 p.m. And around 9.45 rolls by, and I'm still trying to figure out how to hook up my VR to OBS so that it records it and, like, hear Discord and everything through the fucking VR thing. I'm just an idiot. I'm just an overall dumbass. Trying to like check everything before I show it off. Oh, thank you. Someone sent me a Sekiro t-shirt. Oh, the only from software game that fucking sucks. I I don't I don't want that. Get it out of my house. Fucking dumbass game. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Sekiro just did not hit well for me. <laughs> it wasn't. A, that wasn't. It just wasn't a good vibe for me at all. Oh, someone sent in one of those uh, those pillow chamois. It's got uh, Danny DeVito's face on it, and then if you rub it this way, it wait that way. Yeah. Once it has the pillow on it, it's a whole lot easier. 
black pillow, and then you rub it, and it fucking reveals Danny DeVito. Whole lot easier without latex gloves on. I'll be putting that on the living room couch. Abby will enjoy that. Thank you. Did you even play Dark Souls 2? I did play Dark Souls 2, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. I did like the whole vertical, like you're able to jump around and like grappling hook onto stuff in Sekiro, but besides that, it just wasn't my, wasn't my cup of tea. The guy on the blanket was Asterios Kokinos. It took someone that long to figure out who the fuck that guy was? Who the fuck is, is that like some micro niche internet celeb? That'd be like if someone gave like, I don't know, like, you know, somebody else in another realm a blanket with my face on it. Like their chat would be guessing who the hell I am. Oh. This one here, this is it. Somebody may have just unlocked the great question, the gate. People always act like, uh, hey man, there's a, there's a huge problem out there uh, with racism between white and black people in America. And I disagree. I think there's a failure to communicate. And right here, we, we just, we don't have the same vernacular. This guy has sent me a dictionary of African American slang so that we can, uh, we can finally hang out and there won't be a language barrier. Uh, like this, from the 1800s, hussy, a young woman with a tainted reputation. Example, Wilhelm Molina is one sneaky gal, there ain't a wife down here who ain't worried about that hussy. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh man. A hustler from eight, 1650s to 1860s. One who moves fast. See hustle. Oh, these are great. Hold on. Let's let's get one. Let's get one that's like. Oh man. Okay. So this one's from 1920s, 1930s. This is kind of a voodoo, a voodoo word here. Uh, a hoodoo bag. A bag containing graveyard dust and other magic potions used in conjuring. Oh, a hooker. See, I thought a hooker was like a prostitute. Turns out a hooker is a saxophone player who delivers poor quality music. See, if a guy walked up to me and he said, dude, I'm in a pinch, I'm looking for a hooker, I would have just fucked that guy's day up. He's looking for a low quality saxophone musician. I would have sent them down to the, uh, uh, you know, where the prostitutes are. This is, this is indispensable right here. This is going to be passed down from generation to generation in my family. Thank you for this. Incredible. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know what, guys? As this goes on, I, I'll open up. Uh, do some dad jokes, and I will enlighten us with uh, some African American slang translations here. Oh man! Oh, uh, to shoot the gift, 1980s to 1990s, to talk in rhyme or rhythm, to converse, to rap. Awesome. That one's good. I'm liking that. This is another book. Let's see what kind of fucking awesome books we got. Uh, this one's from, what? <laughs> what? This one's from my town. Specifically from the goodwill in my town. What'd Shiro say? Does anyone want to go watch Pokimane play Among Us instead? Guys, I am, yeah, that is a very important thing. I don't mean to, to fuck you guys up or anything, but uh, 
just wanted to be said that Pokimane is streaming among us right now. So if that's your preferred streamer, uh, the door's right there. Thank you for coming by. I can do a quick African-American dialect uh, slang translation here before you leave. Take one. Uh, this one's to take uh, over to Pokimane if you are leaving. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, maybe pull up, uh, pull a quick park. If you're going to pull a quick park, uh, that's to succeed quickly in picking up a stranger as a sexual partner. Yeah, so uh, hope you guys put that to good use. And I will see you at the next stream. Hopefully I won't have uh, tied up my streaming time with my main competitor, Pokimane. And uh, it really sucks when we happen to go live at the same time, sharing an audience and everything. Oh, here we go. I'll give this to Abby. A thousand ways to please a husband. Abby's got 999 things to learn in here. This is how to make peanut fudge. I like peanut fudge. Do you guys want to know like a little, how many ladies are in chat? <clears throat> ladies? Ladies, how many ladies are in chat? Uh, if, uh, if you ladies are here, I can teach you a thing or two to make your husbands uh, happy. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's find something here. How to please, a thousand ways to please a husband. And I want to see, when was the copyright date? 2000, oh wait, 1917. And then it was republished in 2012 as like a joke. Where's the, where's the fucking punchline? Shiro, if you put a goddamn laugh track right here, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. That's a credible threat of violence. <laughs> Where's the fucking joke? I want to know what's funny here. <laughs> uh, let's see here. It's, I think it's more of like a cooking book, it seems like. Yeah, because it, it, sa it says right here, it's like no, no relationship's going to last on lust alone. You need to learn how to be a proper woman. Uh, June, you cannot live... On kisses, though the honeymoon is sweet, hearken brides a true word this, this is, even lovers have to eat. So it's mostly just how to make strawberry preserves, hot chocolate, uh, what to have on your emergency shelf in case uh, impromptu guests come over. Six cans of pimentos. Six cans of tuna, six cans of salmon, six jars of dried beef, 12 cans of corn. There's not a single fresh anything here. It is just canned dog shit. Six cans of tomatoes, six pint jars of pickles, six pint jars of olives, six small cans of condensed milk, six boxes of sweet wafers. Everything comes in sixes. Three cans of mushrooms. Bob helps to get dinner. All right, I'm not going to read any more of this. This is just, I, I'm just getting too excited about how much I'm going to be happy in the future. Uh, oh, here we go. Hey, these are gifts to me, but I'm hoping that they're gifts to you guys. I'm about to give you guys some shit, and you guys spend it, because I don't need whatever this is. A HelloFresh gift card. Oh, fuck. Hold on. We'll get this right. Boop. Stop tracking. Does anybody, anybody go screen cap that? Screen cap it. Screen cap it. You have not, not much time. Okay. Uh, eight more seconds and we're going to have another one for you. Get ready to screen cap it. Fuck. Focus. There's not much time. Fuck! 
It's a wine voucher. Let's see if this works. Wine voucher. Wine! Is it working? Can you see it? Can you guys see it? It's 100 bucks for wine. If you guys eat wine, drink it. There you go. I think you can see it for the most part. That one's hard. 100 bucks for wine. And then this one's a DoorDash, $10 off. Get ready for the DoorDash. Boom. Order up $10 off. You can get a fucking large fry delivered to your house and only have to spend an extra $20 once you use this fucking bad boy. Thank you for whoever has sent those in. That was great. I appreciate it. And more importantly, you're feeding the, uh, the chat. And they, they, them some hungry boys. You know what they're always hungry for? It's some goddamn uh, um, African-American vernacular to English. Davy Crockett, a draft board official. Guess I'll be, example, guess I'll be down to see Davy Crockett and sign up to get my butt shipped over to the big ship. I don't know what that means. It's like 1940s slang or something. All right. Oh, man. I just did that, uh, Where, where you like uh, suck in snot or whatever, and it's so spicy from that goddamn hot sauce. I can, it's still like in my sinuses. Yeah, when Sam pulls out the jive to crack a book, I sit my ass down and listen. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I, <laughs> when I pull out the jive to cracker dictionary, I expect there not to be a fucking word in chat, all right? That chat better come to a goddamn standstill because I'm teaching you guys something. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. This is a, it's like a poster or something like that. I'm trying to get it out without damaging it. This is from Mega 64 Incorporated. Mega 64 time. It's like a little poster. Stop focusing on her. Focus on me or receive death. He's a Shit. I foresee somebody walking around the corner. What is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go in there. That's fine. Yo, Abby, you want to hear a dad joke? Uh, I don't think the cameras can see you, so they're, they're tracked on me. Uh, hold on. Well, that's not good. Yeah, yeah. You, you start washing your hands. I'll find a good one for you. Oh, wait, I got one. Turn off the water. What, hey, what did the pumpkin say when it was surprised? Oh, my gordness. <laughs> yeah, she giggled. I told him, I, I read a couple. I was like, honestly, this one's, these are worse than your hair jail jo joke. Because I've been, I've been saying that one. Like, what, do you do, what do you do when your hair's unruly? You throw it in a hair jail? It only works if you do it with your southern accent, though. Hey, or jail? Yeah. Oh, 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 wait, I forgot. I'm sorry. I got this book for you. It is A Thousand Ways to Please Your Husband. Oh, thank you. I really needed that. Yeah. Well, that's why I told him. I said uh, she, she has about 999 things she has to learn in there. Oh, here you go. There you go. You told me to stop washing my hands. Yeah, yeah, wash your hands. Finish up. She's got soapy hands. All right. Fuck. That one's, like, pointed the wrong way now. Where's my remote? There we go. Yes. Turn. All right. Hunt Showdown video in full jive? That's a possibility. Someone got me a uh, 
jive to English dictionary. Did you know that? How fucking dope is that? I'll be as cool as them one day. One day. It's yeah, a book full of recipes. Uh, no, there's also like dinner etiquette. Like it, there was like a thing about like if you're at the dinner table with your husband, like don't fucking talk, don't look him in the eyes, don't fucking even, don't even ever even look off the ground. Like, put your plate on the ground maybe in like a dog bowl or something like that. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, that's basically, that's what it says in the beginning. And I was like, this, that book was written, written way before DoorDash. You know? There's a lot of be better things a woman can do to please her husband. Yeah. Is that, is that something that entices you, helping with dinner? Okay, okay yeah. I feel like shit because Abby cooks and, and then does the dishes too. Like I think the normal process is usually the person that cooks, then the person, uh, the other person does the dishes, right? And problem is when she cooks, if I try to help her, she's like, get the fuck out of my way. Like she likes cooking. If I cook, it's just, I fuck it up every time. And then it, when I go to do the dishes, like if I'm in there for any amount of time doing the dishes, she comes in there and like, she's like, it takes you fucking three times longer to do the dishes than it takes me. And she like yells at me. I don't put them away in the right spot and I don't wash them as good. I'm basically just overall just an idiot apparently. <laughs> Later. Love you. That sounded like that sounded like a fake I love you, but I'll accept it. Yeah. So uh, that was I think like flex tape or something. Like T-Rex tape, flex tape. Right, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a zoom here. How much of a zoom do you think should be in this one? That's good, right? A little bit like that, like a little bit, maybe like that. That seems perfect. Yeah, long story short, I'm useless, yeah. I know you couldn't hear her. She wasn't mic'd up. She was on the other side of the room. She didn't want to be seen is the problem. She was hiding from the cameras. Shit. This is a letter from, fuck. They didn't write their name inside. From Brody. Hey, Brody. Thank you for writing in. It says, Dear General Sam, my name's Brody. I live in Arizona. I love watching your videos. They're so wrong, but get me laughing all the time. I only listen to the YouTube one on the way to work. Oh, that's the podcast. Also, the podcast is awesome. I only listen to the YouTube one on the way to work, but it usually gets me smiling to start the day. Although I do disagree that Venom was a bad movie, that was funny and has stupid action. So if you don't like thoughts, you've just, you don't like that. that dude, your handwriting is dog shit. Otherwise, tip top, I love everything, plus the, I don't know what that says. Sincerely, some fan. P.S. Feel free to read my name or make fun of me when you roast fans. Well, actually, oh, contrary. I'm going to thank you for writing in. I appreciate it. What? Abby? Why is everybody saying Abby? <laughs> Everybody's just like, Abby! Abby! Ab yeah. Why is everybody screaming Abby? We want Ab Oh, you want Abby in here? No. She's, it, Abby is a very serious, dour woman. About as serious as it comes. Although she did pin that beautiful joke. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, a woman says to her husband, don't forget to add salt to the eggs, dear. And the man replies, I'm already assaulting the egg. That's a good one. All right, let's move on to the next box. 
I'm like 98% sure she left the fucking door open, dude. That drives me up the wall. I can like hear the echo of her hitting buttons on the microwave. By the way, if you guys are like, do any camping or outdoorsy shit ever, do yourself a favor and get one of these Mora knives. This thing was like $25. It's high carbon steel. It's got, I wouldn't say a full tang, I mean, but I mean, it's got like a rat tail tang that goes down into the handle. And the beauty of this thing is if you spend like 200 fucking dollars on like a nice fixed blade knife, you're not going to want to use it and abuse it. This thing, like $25, like $30 or something, I don't know, they've probably gone up since the whole inflation deal. You can beat the shit out of this knife. You're not gonna care. It doesn't matter. You can buy another one for nothing. And they hold an edge, they're awesome. Yeah, it's, like this shit, I pry stuff open with it. I fucking just, da, da, da. I mean, they're great. And grippy handle, the sheath suck though. They suck bad. So uh, what is this, a flat brim hat that says Danky Shane. I don't know what Danky Shane is, but you guys are about to see my greatest my greatest fear is putting on hats because my head is too large for hats. I guess that one kind of sits on there. But this is like a hat that Fred Durst would wear. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Fred Durst. Have you guys ever listened to Bones? <laughs> Are you guys a fan of Bones, the rapper? Oh my God, dude, this is a whole fucking dripped out outfit. Oh! This shirt goes fucking hard. It's got a man's ass on it. <laughs> God, the ultimate fluffer. <laughs> this fucking rules. All right, I'm keeping that one along with the hat. But there you get this little thing out of here. There we go. Yeah, that's wicked. Bend that brim, jabroni. No, 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 that shit stays flat. I think that's another podcast shirt. Yeah, it looks like it. That shirt fucking rules, though. I don't know who that podcast is, but that shirt's awesome. Sold as a set. Cotton candy, Dr. Pepper... Or Dr. Pepper Cotton Candy. I thought it was like Doritos or something. What's with all the fucking cotton candy, dude? I don't want to taste this shit. When are you going to open the first box? What, the one with the punching glove in it? Or, yeah, the boxing glove? I'm not opening that fucking thing. I opened it a little bit, and I saw that there's like explosives inside of it. At least that's sweet. I'm not a big fan of uh, cotton candy. It's weird how it just disappears in your mouth. Pretty unnatural, but not bad. It certainly tastes like Dr. Pepper. This shit, dude, you can tell it's just fucking destroying your teeth. Oh. Speaking of destroying your teeth, there was a very nice one of you that got me this thing. Hey, stop looking at my rig. Get over here. Turn, 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 turn. And you too. Focus, 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 guys, focus. When you got this uh, Tokyo treat thing, it's a box of like Tokyo goodies. And I'm just really sorry to say, whoever sent this in, I will not be eating it on the stream because I already ate it. <laughs> that was, uh, I ate that shit during the Tarkov stream last week. So if you sent that, you missed it. I already gobbled all that shit down live. Sorry, love you. Wait, let me see if that door is open or closed. Is that open? No, we're good, we're good. I 
feel like we are almost at the end. And I'm very proud of you guys. I uh, sat down and I messaged uh, Wubby. You guys know Pay Money Wubby? Very funny guy. And one of my favorite guests on the podcast, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet. Awesome dude. And he told me, or I asked him, he didn't tell me. I went out of my way to message him and go, hey, uh, I see you've done the, the things, the mail opening things. What should I have to look out for? Is there something that like, TOS, you know, like, what do I have to fucking look out for? And he was basically no help. He was just like, yeah, like, some, like sometimes you'll open stuff and it's bad and you just, like, get it off screen really quick. And I was like, but what exactly is bad? Like, define, like, what's that? Because like? Twitch is fucking weird, dude. You can, people do, like, weird shit to get, like, there's nude bitches that are, like, painting their nipples, so therefore they're not nude. And I'm like, but I thought that was just, you know, I'm over there. I'm not complaining. I'm fucking whacking off while watching it. But I'm like, wait, at what point is this nudity? Like, if she just didn't have the pain, it wouldn't be okay. And if a guy has his fucking sweaty hog out and he's holding it up and he's just painting it to look like an anaconda, is that okay? Is that fine? The lines in this site are fucking weird. They're blurred. I don't know what the hell's going on. And so I asked him, and he's like, if there's dicks or whatever, don't show them. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah. I, this, I fucking know this has, like, an explosive thing in it. Golden potato, because it just says golden potato chips. Works every time. Hold on, maybe I should reopen that. This thing fucking sucks, dude. This isn't... <laughs> it doesn't even remotely look like a snake either. It's just a plastic brown bag with like vaguely snake texture on it. All right, let's try to... Maybe this will work better this time. Ready? Yeah, that kind of works. I'll get my daughter with that. That'll... She'll get... She'll get got by that. Oh, wait. Did I use this one? I'm sorry. Hey, wait. If I forgot to do one... Uh, there's this one too. Get ready for a HelloFresh card. Is it focusing? Focus on it, bitch. Fuck. Fucking look at the card! If you can see the, the numbers on it, letters, that's the, that's the thing. Awesome. All right. I don't think that one's been used yet. Hey. God damn it! Look up. Hey, over here. All right, where's the remote? Bizzle, yeah, Bizzle needs to hold the fucking camera still. God damn it, Bizzle. There we go. Fuck. Oh man. Yeah, the can the the motorized camera slaves are rebelling hard. This is not good. But it's okay. We're about to learn some African American vernacular. Uh high cotton. Living the good life. Wealth, prosperity, the lifestyle of wealthy white folks. High on the hog, 
living well, eating well. Since you folks have been living high on the hog, we don't much, we don't much of you anymore. What? We don't much, we do not much of you anymore? We don't like you much anymore, I guess is what I was trying to say. High powered, timely, attractive, fashionable. The likes of you can't make no time with her. She's a real high powered lady, boy. That's from Harlem. This is important stuff, guys. This is like the Rosetta Stone, all right? We can't fucking lose this thing because without this, we're not going to know what the hell is going on, all right? If anybody starts to watch a Spike Lee movie, a Spike Lee joint, you contact me first and we'll go over some key notes here and we'll make sure that's an enjoyable experience for you. This one's from Amazon. Thank you, Mr. Bezos, for making Twitch uh, a, possible, a possibility, owner and operator of Twitch. Also, owner and operator of Amazon.com, where this uh, present came from. This is a present directly from him, my boss. Also, thank you for making space travel a thing. And what else does he do? Um, fucking does everything. I don't know. Thank you for being bald and it being okay. Making it seem cool, because everybody's like, man, Jeff Bezos, that's a cool guy. Just says, please be patient. I have autism. I'm not going to wear that. Oh, yeah, busting unions. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, wait, fuck. Oh, fuck, yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. This fucking rules. <laughs> I can't, my fucking, I don't have ears, dude. I can't, hold on, if I put it in the eye holes. Oh. You could have gotten me a larger size, buddy. But this shit looks good. It feels right, too. It just feels like something I should have. Oh. Hey, I'm up here. It can't face track while I'm wearing this thing. Stop face tracking on the skull. What do you mean? <laughs> Why does it think I, the mannequin's more human than me? Are you kidding me? Hey, the skull's more human than me? You're going to track the fucking skull? Look at this. I bet you if I move it. God damn it! Pay attention to me! <laughs> Alright, I'm taking off the Gip mask. The computers don't know who I am at this point. But, you know what I am going to do? Hold on. Woo! Very nice. Thank you, whoever sent that. That's the move right there. All right, whoever sent this box, you're off to a good start. Uh, uh, a splash pad. Dude, whoever, like the people that, there's one guy that tried to send me something, I just ended up being some shit I didn't want. But this is a splash pad. Fuck, kids love this shit. So thank you for that. I'll be using that in the backyard.
Oh, dude, Swishy, making a very old reference to an old Rust video. Be respectful to daddy. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> What's is that like a reference? <laughs> got yeah, I got the gloves. Because of that very, that very, I got some fucking weird shit earlier. Oh, hell yeah. And a cap gun. With, wait, this isn't a cap gun. This is just a regular die cast toy gun. I think that's everything in here. I'll chuck this over here. Yeah! But there's enough. Oh, that just came out perfectly fine. Dude, this is looking good. Shit. Came with a belt and everything. Okay, that might not fit uh that might fit not might not fit around me. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's a no-go. Uh I love the little tiny belt buckle though. Really captures the essence of a big Texas uh sheriff to go along with my my coat. Pow pow. Is this thing from Amazon? Yeah, that box is from Amazon, all right. Make sure this guy didn't fucking like rig up a, a pistol to... Are there caps in this? Oh yeah, there's like little percussion caps right here. How's this thing work? There we go. It is a cap gun. That's pretty badass. That's how quick reload should be in, in Hunt Showdown. Just quick, just quick load, let it rip. Because I'm tired of fucking doing the like one bullet at a fucking time and then your guy pulls them out and sticks them in there. Uh, yeah, this thing's pretty tight. It's like a little fidget spinner, but for like uh, people that regular fidget spinners aren't quite, those aren't strong enough they don't quite fix the problems that they have. I want to get some fucking caps, dude. This should have come with some caps. No, this thing fucking rules. All right, let me put it in there. If only I had a belt, I'll just have to... like how do they do it where they there's someone in a movie or whatever that has it like he has it like ready to is it like this and then he just like super quick he has it across the front some way where he can quickly grab it dude that's fuck I need to get some caps just so like when you guys fucking piss me off in an instant I can just fucking pull one out on you. Yeah, this thing's tight. Yeah, I'll be carrying this around in the neighborhood just so people don't fuck with me. I'm sure good things will come of it. Thank you, whoever sent me this thing. Oh. <laughs> this might be like a back of the pants type thing. The problem is like, how do they carry them in the back of their pants? I don't have an ass for that. So it just like, it's like to just slip down in there. 
it's likely to just slip into my asshole. I need butt cheeks that I can, is that how they do it? Do they stick the barrel down in between their butt cheeks and then they fucking clench. They <laughs> and they clench down on the barrel so it doesn't fall down in there. There you go. Yeah, you grip it. It doesn't matter how I sit, dude. This thing's just shooting out of my waistband. It's too slippery. This isn't leather. It's like vinyl. <sighs> if only the belt, if only I was uh, uh, 112 pounds lighter, I'd be able to use the belt. It's a damn shame. Damn shame. Hold on a second. And we're gonna top up on chocolate covered espresso beans. Cause these things fucking rule. All right. Shit. This one looks like it was actually sent by a person. No shipping label. Oh, here we go. This is from Integrated Surplus Parts. That the There's nothing in here. It's empty. Oh. Hey Sam, I watched your videos since I was in sixth grade and now I'm a college kid. And he said, in parentheses, you're old. So to pay you back for supplying kid me with videos, I'm sending you toys for your, he said, <laughs> it says grocery bags and then it's marked out and it says toys for your kids to play with. Also in this box is a shirt I bought from you years ago. If you could sign it, that would be awesome. I'll supply a P.O. box at the bottom because I don't trust you to not dox me. Thanks. Nice. And then, uh, and then his P.O. box is uh, one five. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll sign this. What, what shirt is this? Oh, this is the one everybody's been asking to, to bring back. God damn, this guy's tiny. This is, uh, I, I took the day off to J off t-shirt. I made a shirt back in the day for like, you know, if you were going to uh, play hooky from school or work or something and just spend all day fucking cranking one out, you have a shirt for the occasion. I'll send that back to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring that one back. I just want to have like a proper, I want to have like different artwork for it, you know? Thanks for the gr uh, grocery bags, though. Mm. This one's just like uh, some shit from Amazon, it looks like. Lots of flags. Oh, okay. The Black Lives Matter flag. The camera doesn't like it. Show it to the people! Yeah, the camera, I'm sorry guys, the camera was really trying to, we need to work out some kinks with the software here. I feel like it was, uh, why was it trying to avoid it so bad? What do you have to hide, camera? Sickening. When I held up the Trump flag, steady. That camera didn't fucking move. I hold up the Black Lives Matter flag. It's avoiding it, averting eye contact. What the fuck? Who made these cameras? Jeez. I try to cover all sides here, you know? If you're like 
Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna. I'm done. <laughs> I do want this account to stay active for some time. You know, I don't want to be fucking relegated to Facebook gaming quite yet. <laughs> Dude, do you know those like X, you call them like X uh, internet celebrities. You ever see those people that are like, uh, you're like, hey, I recognize that name. And then you go and see what they're doing. They're always like streaming on Facebook gaming. It's because Facebook gaming, like they're so far, they're like five, six years behind the trends. They, they offer ridiculous contracts to just exclusively stream to Facebook but they only, they only offer it to people that are like past their prime, you know? People that just quite ain't, they're not quite there in the limelight anymore. And, but when you, when you pin that contract, when you sign that shit, gone. Never to be seen again. What little bit of relevancy you had gets shot in the back of the head. It's out of there. The cap gun box has a message. God damn it. Where's that box at? Was that, which box was that? That wasn't the box with all the bags. This box. Gift message. Enjoy your gift. It wasn't this box, was it? No, this is Dr. Pepper cotton candy. This one? Let's see. Sprinkler outside. Uh, toy Lawman Diecast Metal Cap Gun. Here we go. Send a thank you note. A gift message. The pool and flag are for your kids. If you decide you want to use it and maim them, please film it and upload it. Why is that thing stuck on the goddamn mannequin again? A gift for you. The husband book is... Hey! Hey! The husband book is for Abby. In the probable event that she leaves you, the rest of the items sent are for you to either take her back or take a new bitch. I have some shit on the way that's from my house, from John Biddle. Thank you. And since you went out of your way to demand that I read this message, I said the full name. I'm sorry. Also, my Twitch username is my little pay pig. Just in case you see me in chat, from John B. I don't see you here, bitch. Anybody see my little pay pig? My little pay pig, where are you at? He's not here. He lied. All that. <sighs> Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Oh, it's got a little, it's got a little box on it. It says, thanks for taking, for making Tarkov so toxic, you fucking weasel. LMFAO, hope you liked the gift from Tori and Andrew from Indiana. Hi, Tori. Hi, Andrew. You seem like great, great people. What's in here? It's a thousand pictures of huge tits and big boobs by Madalena Ann. Fuck!
<laughs> Some guy was like, I can hear him breathing. Yeah, I didn't like, I wouldn't go get a Coke. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that big titty book was fucking lame. I don't like either of you from Indiana. Fuck people from Indiana. Poop too. I'm sorry, Poop. Like, I love you, man. You're like one of my best friends. You're a great guy and everything. But fucking Tori and Andrew from Indiana have ruined everybody in that fucking state. You're dirt people. Yeah. Ah. Uh. All right. Open this after you open that. It just says it's a fake boob book. I like real boob books, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm more of a real boob book kind of guy. This is very concerning because now the second thing I'm opening here is a package suspiciously in the same stylings as the, this, fuck. This is the big boob book. What's going to be in the identical bag? How is that a controversial opinion? If this is the little boob book, I'm not even opening it. It's not happening. Oh, this is actually a gift. Oh, it's an open face green. Really? Come on, man. It's an open faced green screen outfit that I can use making epic green screen stuff. Uh, slight concern, you guys said, you guys made it a 2XL, which seems like it might be a little bit big for me, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. I might be 2XL, who knows. Look at that. God damn it. Fucking tracking thing. It's just a, it's just a big green outfit. I'm sure it'll work fine. Thank you. I, that's, see, that's utility. I also like utility, guys. Things I can use, like video props. Like this fucking badass gun. All right. Hold on. Let me make sure this thing's loaded. Send me more stuff like that. Ba, 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 ba. I like stuff like that. It's really been five years? Yeah, it's been a fucking hot minute, dude. And what's funny, too, is like at least. I have the comfort of knowing I'm getting better at this. You know, maybe not streaming. This is dog shit. I'm sorry. Like, this thing ain't really <laughs> This ain't some fucking grand thing. But uh, for video making, like, uh, if you go back years and years and years, it is like watching someone slowly suffer the effects of dementia. Like, the videos just get worse and worse and worse and worse if you go back. Now, if you watch them chronologically, I guess they get better. But, uh... Someone's calling me. Hop off my sack. All right. The old mill times, like, the idea, there's a lot there, but back then it just uh, wasn't hidden because I was an idiot. I mean, now, like me now, I'm a genius. Utter genius. But back then, especially... I'm just gonna like lop open my leg while doing this, I can tell. I might have just cut whatever's in here. Oh, that was just a bag. Never mind. We're good. It's like a packing bag. Oh shit. What is this? Flat rate postage. Envelope. Empty. I'm assuming he wants return mail. Uh an Xbox controller. <laughs> And a letter. Oh, and a Hot Wheels car. What is this? A fucking... A custom Acura Integra. Is that thing even focused on me? Hey! Which one of you ain't focused? That one's focused. That other one ain't. What you doing over there? Hey! Hey! Get 
camera. Hold on, I'll take care of this. The Chainsaw Man, he also sent me a book. It's a manga. And a, uh, hold on, let me read this little thing while I try to fix the, the fucking camera over here. Hold on. I love you, Sam. Keep your giggles coming. Always good to see a new upload. If you don't read this, you are a bitch. And here's a controller for when you break yours. And a something, because you're a bitch. Keep it coming. Take it easy. Tom, isn't that nice? That's the camera. It's focused now. Maybe it will follow focus back as I dance back to my table. Is it, you doing all right? You focused? Awesome. Uh, I'm a huge coffee fiend, by the way. And uh, this one says coffee on the outside of it. So I'm going to open this fucking thing up. I really got high hopes for this. Why it got film grain? Dude, I don't fucking know. That one's wild. That's a wild one right there. Where are you going? Publix and get the Oh my god, it's already four? What the hell? Damn. Oh, babe, hold on. Look at this book, dude. A thousand pictures of huge tits and big boobs. No. Take a look at them, though. They're good. Them some good ones. Why do you think? Open it up. I fucking almost cried. I opened that thing and they had to, they watched a mental breakdown. Second I opened that fucking thing. And you know what sucks is immediately after I opened that, right? I open it, nothing on the pages. I'm saying, and then I opened up, there's a gun, right? They sent me a gun. I start plugging this thing in my mouth and start pulling the trigger. It's a cap gun. It doesn't even work. They're sending me a bunch of shit that don't even work. Pretty cool, though. All right, yeah, go to the Publix. Go get the keys. Love you. Close the door, though. She closed it. Gamers, were all alone. It's just you and me. I see like weird mechanized parts in here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, is this like 3D printed? Oh, it's cool as hell. Go oh, look at this. It's a little tape deck thing. It says ghouls gone wild. Huh? Ghouls gone wild? Huh? No, this is definitely not a ghost gun because the barrels, like, I mean, the it's not even fully cut out for a barrel. Like, there's no way it's actually a, a ghost gun. I don't know exactly what the hell this is. Part, it's coming apart, though. Nah, I'm not going to fuck with it too much until I figure out what it is. Hold on, let me open up the rest. I think this is a failed printing exercise because there's some of it broken. Yeah, 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 there's more to it. There's more to it. Hold on. Oh, I think this guy, like, paints guns and stuff. Yeah, you ever see those people that do, like... Does this all, like, come together or something? Oh, hell yeah, that does. Okay. And then this goes here. Someone explain to me how this works. Oh, and then that goes on there. Hold on, we're figuring it out. Let me move this out of the way. It's a 10 millimeter pistol, right? From Fallout 3? Am I crazy? Is that what that is? 
I have never actually held, by the way, I've never held a, uh, a 3D printed item before. This is pretty tight. It feels pretty solid, considering it was printed. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I do. I want to get a. Oh shit! I want to get a 3D printer, but like, I feel like I would print like one thing and then never use it ever again. God damn it! Come here. Like, I think I think Brian had. Why are you on the gimp again? Get over here. What are you doing? Jesus. Don't you hate it when the gimp is getting more attention than you at your own house? You know? It's like, I invited you guys here to fuck me. And the gimp. But don't, like, talk to them. Don't focus on them. Uh, gimps are periphery characters. They're not protagonists. Ever. Nobody wants to know, like, oh, what's the gimp thinking? How's the gimp feeling? The gimp's a side character. Don't focus on the fucking gimp. Hey, you guys want to hear a little dad joke before we carry on? Hold on. There's more stuff in that box, but, uh, uh, on, uh, oh, damn, I already did that one. Hey, wh uh, what do chickens serve at birthday parties? Coop cakes. Like a, like a chicken coop? That's a good one. Oh, 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 you're vegetarian? This is like if you were a guy, if you imagine you're vegetarian, right? And I'm not. And so I go, hey, oh, you're vegetarian? I think that's a big missed steak. Like a missed steak and mistake. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, whoa, wait. This one's good. This one's good before we carry on. Hey, what do you call two banana skins? A pair of slippers. See, that's called streaming for the edit. Now, to you guys, it seemed like I was sitting there air pumping to nothing. But when this goes to YouTube, there is going to be insane laughter. I'm talking like the biggest bout of laughter you have ever heard. And if Shiro doesn't put that in there, if he, if he thinks he's funny and he's gonna put like a little sound of crickets or something like that, I know where you live, bitch. You're somewhere in California and there's only like an eighth of the US population there. I'll fucking find you. He, he migrates in between Los Angeles and, and Fresno. So somewhere around there, you know, a very small pool of people to go sifting through. I'll find you, Shiro. I'll fucking find you. <laughs> right, I'm going to pull out just all the stuff to make sure there's nothing questionable in here. Then get the box out of the way. That seems really heavy. Is that a real? I think this guy sent me a real ass magazine. Oh, and a little postcard. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Adermeyer Institute. Evidence. Is this still like a game or something? I think this is more of just like stuff, like when people just send me a junk drawer full of stuff. Uh, this is a real ass magazine. It's like steel stamped. No idea, like. Somebody, ID, ID this, ID this magazine, please. What is that? It's like a FAL mag. It's a G3. A G3 mag? Man, now I need the cheap part. Does anybody have a G3? I got a magazine. It's worth... This is going to end up being like a fucking uh, Daisy, average Daisy experience where I'm just going to have 58 variants of magazines and no gun to go with them. Uh, this guy also made a, a, a Cthulhu 3D printed. That thing's pretty fucking tight, actually. I'm going to put that on the old bookshelf after this. Uh, some more 3D printed stuff. This looks like an inhaler that's been painted. Oh, he does like models, I guess. 
Is that jet or is that just like a regular inhaler? Let's get a zoom in on this. Is this, a, is this an inhaler? Is that what that is? Pretty tight though. A Napoleon Dynamite yak back. It's a, oh, red thing goes on top. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't go on top. It fucking broke. Yeah, it goes here on the side. Is that jet? Is that what jet looks like in the world? I can glue that back. I can fix that. Shit, man. Shit. Was a Sierra Madre? Like a little coin thing. Damn, there's just a lot of shit in here. Some very nice glasses. Oh, yeah. I think these are my style. These will also be going to my daughter. She loves sunglasses. She fucking loves these things. They fight over sunglasses. All right. <laughs> now that's a look, baby. Also, some Twinkies, Tropical Blast Edition Twinkies. I guess I'll fucking eat them just because, well, for one, they're sealed. And two, I'm kind of just disgusting and will eat almost anything. So I'm willing to give these a, a try. Hostess. Oh, you can see the blue sticking out the side. I'm going to be honest with you, Chief. Not actually half bad. Granted, host, or, uh, what are these things called? Twinkies ain't that good to begin with. You see, Hostess makes a wide range of other pastries, all of which that are better than Twinkies, even though Twinkies have the biggest claim to fame. We're going to start here with the, uh, the little cupcakes with the spiral frosting. Those fucking slap way harder than Twinkies. Uh, what are these called, like ho dogs or whatever? I don't know. But basically the same thing. Uh, the little miniature uh, powdered donuts, way better. The fucking Sw the Swiss things, the swirls, chocolate swirls. What are these things called? Ring dings? Ho dogs? Fucking, what, what's this thing called? Uh, the one with the swirl. The swirl one fucking rules. That one's best. A Swiss roll. Thank you. Swiss rolls fucking... Ro Everything on the little picture here, on the back of this, they're all better than Twinkies. Twinkies are... I don't know. They're whack. But these... Uh, what are these? Like Baja Blast or something? Tropical? Limited edition? I think my problem with it is it has lemon. You can taste a lot of lemon... I'm not big on, like, lemon citrus desserts. I mean, I'll still eat them because I'm disgusting, but. Oh, my God. How greasy the glove got. <laughs> Doesn't seem good. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, they're Mountain Dew. Is that what it is? Hmm. Dude, the outside of these gloves are so gross. I'm getting a new pair. But we're closing into the end anyways. Oh, wait. Hold on. There was a... Uh, this is kind of cool. It's a Mr... The Adventures of Mr. Kool-Aid in the Wacky Warehouse. It's an actual comic. When was this made? Hold on. I want to see like the, the copyright date on the front. 1989 is when this was published. Vintage now. 32 years old? Something like that? 30-something 30, 30 years old? 
33 years old. First edition, I guess it's number six. I mean, that's like the, the I, I think it's first edition. It feels old as shit. It doesn't feel like a reprint. It's all yellowed and stuff. Oh, by the way, that other guy sent me like a, it was while my camera was freaking out. I looked at it. It's like a, it's a manga called Chainsaw Man. I don't really read mangas because on account that you have to flip the pages all backwards and I would get confused doing that. Um, but it looks like there's a lot of blood and guts in this one, which is kind of cool. No, no nudity. Hold on. We'll go through this way. Any fucking? No fucking so far. Wait, this guy gets kneed in the balls real, real fucking hard. Oh, yeah, shit. Bam! Fucking God! Gets him right in the... F <laughs> right from behind, too. But, yeah, for the most part, uh, anybody wondering, no fucking in this. This is real weak shit. What are you looking at? Come on. Pay attention. Over here. Thank you. All right, let's do, we only got a couple boxes left. What happened to that big box of what I thought was coffee? Did I ever open that and just not get coffee? Hold on, we have another mask, but this one seems like more badass. This is, oh, I wish I would have had this for 4th of July. That would have been dope. These things are like, they hate people with fucking glasses, dude. Camera? This is like camouflage. It doesn't know I'm a person anymore. Oh, shit. Camera? Yes. You found me. Over here! It won't follow me. It doesn't, it doesn't think I'm a person. It's so confused. Look at this. Come to daddy. You remember who I am? I was just... It's like my daughters, dude. I put on like... I just do anything to my face. Like I'll just go like... And they'll be like, oh, it's a different guy. Holy shit. How'd this fucking wacko get in the house? Put on a mask. Has no idea I'm a person anymore. Also, there's one little thing in here. Oh. Anal desensitizing lube. Anal comfort lube. Isn't that nice? Well, thank you for that. I, uh. Why would they not want to feel it? I guess is a is this like a, a rapist's lube? Like, <laughs> if they don't fucking if you need this, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. How about that? If your girl's like, hey, can you give me some of that shit where it makes it feel like you're not doing the thing that we're doing? Maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Just stick to fucking vaginal. I'm gonna put a little bit a little bit of this on my skin to see if it if it works. It's like training wheels for anal sex. Yeah, sorry. I don't understand. I'm gonna try a sensitive spot, like my wrist. There we go. Does it work? Should I do a taste test? Now my mouth will go numb probably. It's probably not ingestible. If it can go in your asshole though, I bet you it can go in your mouth. Now that uh, you mention it. And it's called Bottoms Up. That means you can drink it, right? Enjoy smooth, slick, and satisfying anal sex. Oh, it's enriched with 4.5% lidocaine. Proudly made in China. 
for external use only. Uh huh. Up to six times daily is the limit for how much you can use. Yeah, external use only? I mean, like, isn't this stuff designed to go literally up your asshole? <laughs> how is it fucking external use only? What's the, uh, how much time does this stuff take? Ask a healthcare professional before using this product. Hey, yo, doc. <laughs> hey, yo, doc. I'm on the fence about getting stuff crammed up my asshole, but I have numbing lube. Is it all right if I use this? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it takes like five minutes? God, I, I'm done. I apply it, and before it kicks in, I'm, I'm already asleep next to her. What the fuck? Five minutes? That's an eternity. That's hours. <laughs> that shit's actually dangerous because you don't feel it if something's going wrong. Yeah, that seems like... That's what I was thinking. Like, wouldn't it be something where you want... Because there's a difference, I would think, between, like, discomfort and outright pain, which means damage. And I don't want anything masking that, you know. So that's why all my sexual partners don't use this. Because <clears throat> I want to know if they're fucking my asshole. <laughs> all right, is that, the, is that the final thing? No, I got some more down here. I'm sorry. There's some letters, there's a mystery box. Where did that thing of coffee go? Did I, I swear I didn't open that. And yet here we are, no coffee. Or, or was that a repackaged coffee box and it just had some dog shit in it? I think that was the thing with... Huh, where'd it go? Oh, that was, it had like the 3D printed stuff in it, I think. Oh well. It's okay. This one looks like it might be food. And it's getting dinner time, so I'm fucking hungry. Oh, wait, hold on. I, did, I don't think I... Someone gave me a Pokemon card, and it says spicy seasoned curry. Is that an actual Pokemon? Your active Pokemon is now burned. Heal 40 damage from it. It's literally just curry. It's a card with curry on it. Is that real? <laughs> That's an actual Pokemon? Spicy curry? Ugh. Uh, Nordic Ice. No sweat gel ice pack. That's not good. Because this thing is... Oh, it's still fine. The Gummy Bear Guy. World's largest gummy bears. Should I try to eat this thing? How do I eat this without looking incredibly homosexual? I've seen a video of a guy downing one of these, and people are like, whoa, like that's... Look at him attack that hog. And I don't want compilations like that being made of me. Do I need to get a fucking cutting board and a fork and a knife? Put the lube on it. I'm not going to deep throat it, you psycho. It's, oh, it's ribbed. It's like sugar. It's like gummy. Maybe I can mush them. To oh, I see how they do it. They need a form. That's fucking vile, dude. I'm sorry, Mr. Gummy Bear Guy.
biting into something that large is concerning when it's that texture. I don't know. It's like you just feel like when you go to bite it, like you're biting into like an elephant's trunk. It's like, it's, it's too big. See, I knew it. As soon as I fucking ate the thing, everybody in chat is just like, you like that big boy? You like that big fucking sweaty hog? Slapping your cheeks? Oh, stick it between your fucking cheek and your teeth. Oh, oh, let's see the ribbing. Oh. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Get some lube on there. <laughs> no, Sam, that was it. No, Sam, nobody in chat said anything like that. You were just saying that to yourself. You guys don't know what I saw in chat, dude. You people are vicious down there. I think this is a sticker. This guy just sent me a regular ass sticker of himself. He just sent me a picture of himself with his arms crossed. <laughs> yep, he's just there. He's vibing with his arms crossed. You guys want to see a real fucking sticker? Hold on a second. This one's for the Guinness books. All right, I have a thing for like... Um, like trashy, it's like trashy, like sci-fi fantasy art, right? Uh, and so I bought this print that I think is fucking tight as hell. Oh, Come on, let's wait until we get to the other, the other camera. Camera! All right, look at this fucking thing. I, I, these are up top. Hold on, hold on. Let me take these off. This is what I was really going to show you, but here's the print. It's a guy riding like a, a giant dinosaur, and oh, he's got Babe on there with him with big fucking titties, and he's bow and arrow and shit. This picture goes hard, dude. This picture goes hard as fuck. That's going on my wall. But uh, with it, I also have... Whoosh, look at the boys! Who's that? That's your favorite podcast, boys! I'll let you guys guess who's who. Fuck. There we go. Back this way, Mr. Camera. Hello. There we go. All right. Everything following? You guys aren't getting stuck on the gimp again? <sighs> yeah, uh, by the way, uh, Italian Ninja made those. Lisa, you guys might know her, super talented lady. She's got a YouTube channel. You should go check it out. Makes only bangers because she uploads like once every six months or whatever. Check her out. Yeah. <laughs> Brian looks like he eats women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gives off that vibe too. Like, if you, if you have never seen him and you just listen to him talk in a Discord, yeah. Yeah, he gives off those vibes. Oh, this one's another die-cut sticker. Let's see if this guy sent a second sticker of himself just, like, arms crossed for no reason. That is whoever sent this, right? No, this one's Peter Griffin as like uh, as a something. I don't. Was that cupcake? This is like some fucking Mario character. Anybody know what this is from? Cloud from Super Mario RPG as Peter Griffin. Yeah, I've never played Super Mario RPG. That joke went fucking. Whoosh. Right over me. Can I open? Christ. Dude, what the hell's with all these masks? 
Oh wait, this ain't a mask. This is even better. Now I can flex on Abby because Abby unironically wears fanny packs, right? This one's a fanny pack that just looks like a dude's gut. Oh, let's see. Ugh, I need to I need to give it a little stretch out real quick. Sorry, got to fit my circumference. Ugh. That should work, right? Oh, it's tight. It's too tight. I got the tightest fanny pack of all time. Oh, and it has a pair of socks in it. That's fucking cool. Shit. Well, it says, if you can read this, bring me a cup of coffee. And it's on the heels, on the bottom of the, the socks. Jesus Christ, how fucking old do you guys think I am? I'm 30. I'm 30. That's it. You guys act like I'm fucking 58 years old. I mean, in internet years, that's old. That's old as shit. I will admit. Internet years, that's getting on up there. Dude, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I could work on the draw a little bit faster. That's pretty slow. Unironically, my dad, I don't know why I said unironically, but for real, for serial, no, no jokes and guffaws, my dad actually has a fanny pack that he carries a Derringer. It's a two-shot Derringer and no trigger guard or nothing. And then he just has loose bullets just sifting around in his fanny pack. And that's his, like, if he goes to, like, a, uh, you know, anywhere, really, he does a lot of, like, camping with, like, a, a big uh, trailer thing, right, a camper. He just always has that on him, just a Derringer and a bunch of loose bullets and pocket lint where he can then just, like, pull it open and... Tick, tick. I'm like, dude, you're going to get knifed before anybody, before you can get that thing loaded and not shoot yourself with it. Oh, shit, we're running out of battery here on the old uh, iPad. Hold on a second. I can mitigate that with this. Guys, you're going to have to hold on two seconds while I fix this. Two seconds. You track me. Let me get this one. Make sure this one's tracking. Hello. Tracking. Tracking? Awesome. Hold on, because after this, we're going to start the whole segment where we talk about politics. That's, that's going to go on, you know, for like, I, mean, I think between all of us, we can probably figure out, um, you know, how to fix this whole thing, you know? <laughs> I'm sure we could fix it. It just takes us. We, could, we have all the answers. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm getting tuckered out. <laughs> it's not good. I'm getting tired. I still do have audio, right? You guys could have been sitting here for fucking 48 minutes without audio, and I would have never noticed. I need to pay attention over there. On the other screen, I can see the little bar going boop, 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 boop. That's how I know what's going on.
All that damn sugar. Is that what it is? Yeah, you guys keep sending me little snacks. Keep this away from children. What? Barren West Indian hot sauce. Dude, I'm not fucking eating any more hot sauce, all right? That other shit you guys sent me, it was too vile. It was too... It was too much. Like, that wouldn't... En See, the thing about spice is it should enhance a food. That shit detracts from it. You can't taste anything else. Yeah, the way it's packaged does say a lot. Yeah. Barren West Indian hot sauce. Although this just says hot sauce. This might just be a good hot sauce. Because it's more like yellowy marmalade looking, which I bet you, it should say the Scoville's on it, right? Uh, hot pepper, mustard, thickening, preservatives. Great on hamburgers, hot dogs, meat, and poultry. I think this is just legit hot sauce. A range of tastes, modern ways, traditional flavors. And this doesn't say like, uh, this is a ridiculous amount of Scoville's. This is like super fucking hot. I'm going to burn your tongue off and make you see. Oh, there we go. Perforated edge. Right. They usually all have like warning labels and stuff if, if you're in trouble. Yeah, it's just legit hot sauce. From yeah, come on, that that even smells like it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm all about sweetness. That is an insanely like. That's like a tangy hot sauce. It's got some spice, though. Uh, don't fucking, hey, don't. You, typical foot enjoyer. He's like, nice skateboard on the wall. I bet you use it. That was just, that was a gift from Mr. Donut Operator, all right? The cop guy. Everybody loves cops. I got a free skateboard from a cop. Everybody fucking hates cops. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. No, he did send me a skateboard, though. He seems like a cool guy. I like him now, though, because he's not a cop anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a streamer. It's a totally different ballgame. He's more of like a cop advocate or something. Yeah, he's a, he's a cool guy. Oh, wait, there's something else down in the, the lube thing. What's this? Oh, of course, applicators. There's one where you can just cram it. It's like a, it's like a cake, an icing thing for a cake. You literally put it in the belly of the beast and you let this, you squirt it up in there. I'll keep that, I guess. All right. I think uh, I got two things left. And I'm really proud of you guys. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm proud of you guys. Hold on. This is loud. I'm gonna try to get this bag out of here. It's like crinkling right next to the. Oh fuck yeah! A bull whip. Oh hell yeah! Whoosh. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait on. This is the oldest way to break the sound barrier. Uh, what we're gonna do, put that over there. I guess I, I don't have enough like free space to kind of, to fucking, what is it? Don't you like drag it forward and then just like whip it back really quick? And that's where it pops. 
Or how do people I think they kind of do like that and then fucking I don't know how they fucking do it. Can I just like throw the end over there and whip it back or something? I'm gonna like end up fucking myself up here. Fuck, man. Should I just keep this over here by the gimp? <laughs> just give her the give her the whip. How do you do this thing? Pending injury. Yeah. Do all the dangerous side out do all the dangerous stuff outside and off stream. Found the pussy. That guy, right? Fucking <laughs> No, I, I thought I could do like, you know, just do like a quick little whip. Just a little fucking a little quick little I just don't know how to do it. Oh shit. How do they fucking do this? Huh. I guess you can that I'm trying to do it like a towel, you know, like I'm in gym class. Ah, you bitch. They do it somehow. Some which way. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, is that how you do it? Huh. You're gonna hear the sound eventually. Fuck. Damn, dude, that's fucked. Get all the shit out of the way. Move all this stuff. Move all this shit. Okay. Is this? Ooh! I'm like taming a fucking lion. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. I'm afraid I'm going to get hit by it. Woo! I think that's how you do it. That's getting louder. Is that how you do it? Do you guys have any fucking clue how you do this thing? There we go. The way I've seen it done, like, they always seem so slow. They, like, do this beautiful, melodious dance, and then they just fucking, wah! And it just, it's like the loudest crack in history. Fuck. Fuck. Woo! Woo! Wait. I want a fucking sound barrier crack on stream. That's all I want. All right, we're gonna, those are loud. I'm hitting them. I'm tearing up the box a little bit, but it's not, hold on. It's not quite getting that. I'll practice this and we'll hit it again next time. God, this gimp's really coming together though. You guys really did a, a good job here. Come check out the gimp. Look what I've done. I hover hand though, for sure. Uh. You gotta whip that shit? Do I have to fucking put like my back into it? Am I using the wrong side? Do I need to hold the little end and just club them with it? Okay, wait, I think I got just the final. It's gonna be some sort of poster, possibly even another like fucking snake in a box or whatever the spring loaded thing is. All right, this one's, that side's like stapled or something. What the fuck? A beautiful little poster. Little rat boys hanging out in a circle. The Federation of Rats. That's actually a very fucking tight picture, too. I love this picture. I have the shit already on my computer for, from Tarkov days. Or them rat Tarkov days. 
I'm actually, I might, I might put that up on the wall. Not thumbtack style. I'm more of a, uh, a frame guy myself. All right, and I think that's about it. That's about the meat and taters of it all. Um, if you guys want to have some more uh, African American vernacular to English, uh, we can always school ourselves until about that uh, about that time to get off. <laughs> oh man, hell yeah! They were just listen to this fucking uh, this mixed drink. It's called a shake up. It's from the 1930s and 40s. A potent alcoholic drink made of a variety of liquors, whiskey, wine, gin, and bourbon mixed together. No fucking, no like, <laughs> no grenadine, no tonic, no fucking bitters, nothing to cut it. Just scotch, whiskey, wine, gin, and bourbon all mixed together in a glass. Equal, con yeah, equal quantities. They call that uh, grog in the military. That's badass. Oh, man. A shebang. Oh, that's one that, like, everybody uses. The whole shebang, right? A shebang is a, uh, a place, a public place, home, residence, maybe a source of a shabam in the jazz expression, oop bop shabam. I don't fucking know what any of this really means. I, I feel like the more I unravel, the more I, I don't know. And that's really the dangerous part of it all. Oh, well, that one is not stream friendly, so I'm going to avoid that. Uh, can I go get a drink real quick and maybe talk to you guys for a little bit? Is that all right? Oh, I do have like a little thing, maybe a little bit. What's this? Is this working? Oh, that's not working. Hold on. I think I need to do this. And then go back here to this. Sometimes a product comes along that changes the landscape of consumerism. Think iPod. Think Crocs. Think George Foreman's award-winning grill. What you're looking at right now is one of these items. Pretty soon everyone you know will have one. Your grandma. Your aunt. Your bully at school. Your mom's divorce attorney. The pool boy has one. Your neighbor has one. It's like an exclusive club. And every day, your mom, her attorney, the pool boy, and neighbor, and your bully all hang out in her room. Make such a loud ruckus. Must be having so much fun in there with those cups. Maybe if you get a cup, they'll let you come in there and hang out with them. Just maybe. Go on down to shekelscheme.com and pick one up. Whoa! That was fucking tight, right? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a toilet roll. That would actually be cool as shit. I want to see someone out there with like, uh, have you ever seen where they'll just do like toilet paper with like money printed on it? You buy, it's like a novelty roll of toilet paper for when you have guests over. I want to see a YouTuber with a custom roll of toilet paper. I think that would be a cool as hell uh, little bit of merch. Yeah. All right, so anyways, the uh, I'm not opening the fucking box, dude. You got like an explosive in there, okay? You sent me a fucking explosive. I'm not opening it. All right, it's not going to work. Also, I think my kids are about to be home, so I can't tell them to, I need to make sure that they know not to go out there. Fuck you, whoever sent that. All right, fuck you. <laughs> Mr. Eli the Builder or whatever your name is. Yeah. Just do it outside. I'm not opening that shit outside, dude. Airbags are scary. I've, I have two people in my family that because of an airbag going off, they got more injured than they would be otherwise. But I, I get it if you're doing like an interstate style crash and you're going like 65 miles per hour. But um, two people I know that they were going like five miles per hour and they like bumped something and then they <laughs> ended up getting their fucking clothes burned off of them from this thing blowing up in their face. Yeah, airbags are fucking, they're dangerous, dude. This guy sent me a, a wooden box 
covered in shrapnel made with screws and stuff. I'm scared. I'm going to have to call bomb defusal to get rid of that thing. <laughs> hey, it's me, EID Eli. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I really wanted to thank you, dudes. Uh, you sent in great stuff. There wasn't anything radioactive this time, as far as I can tell. I don't have a, uh, uh, a disometer or whatever they're called. Um, no dildos this time. That was great. That was something I, was, I thought I would have to open and then quickly hurry off stage. Uh, what else was there that was uh, no bodily fluids? That's, this is a new record. A new record is nothing but nice, wholesome things. I appreciate it. Uh, some of which will, are more of like novelty status, you know, just kind of like of little use, but kind of fun. And some of the items here are like now integral parts of my life that like are the, are the thing that keeps me keeping a competitive edge as I bustle my way through into my later years. And, uh, and I have you guys to thank for that, you know? Sending in these things, furthering me as a person, refining me, sharpening me, so that uh, I'm able to provide good content. I really appreciate it, all of you. Give yourselves a round of applause. And I'm gonna read a dad joke or something before I leave. Let's see here, the good, the bad, and the terrible. This is by Jimmy Nero, by the way. A little, couple dad jokes here. Uh, why did the banana go on the date with the prune? Because he couldn't find a date. Shiro, every time I do that, I want I want a, a insane audience like applause. And if you can't find one royalty free, can you just uh, can you be the guy laughing repeatedly? Like, just uh, record yourself laughing like 48 times. It's a small audience. Not many people here. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, no, that one's old. That was, uh, hey, what, do, what does Batman like in his drinks? Just ice. Like justice? That's good shit. Anyways... Uh, who are we going to raid? Who's live? What do we got here? Willers? We got Willers. We got, we got a bunch of people playing Tarkov. Is anybody opening mail? Nobody's opening mail. Do you guys like Sequisha? Baddest motherfucker in the game. This guy's been streaming a hot minute. And uh, he's, got a, he's got a well put together stream. He's playing Tarkov right now. There's a message in the hot sauce box. What the fuck do you want from me, dude? There's always a message in every box. The hot sauce box, I doubt it had like insane, what kind of shit do you think was in there? Is this the hot sauce box? I can't find that. Which one had hot sauce? Hot sauce box, hot sauce box. One a penny, two a penny, hot sauce box. No, that's not it. This one? Hot sauce box? No, that's Dr. Pe Dr. Pepper cotton candy. All right, hot sauce box guy, I'm going to ad lib what your message said. Uh, whoa! Epic fucking video. My favorite video of yours is your farming simulator video. Sam, that shit was funny. And uh, you're a really cool guy. And uh, I got a joke for you, Sam. What do you get if you cross a, uh, cross a cat with a parrot? A carrot. All right, that's the end. I'm getting the fuck out of here.